five? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm using all your, gonna roll with this. All your like cool tokens, tribal cards, whatever you want to call them. Uh, these are called. I'll double check it in a second here. I want to <laughs> see. Kids games they are somehow a WizKids Games product, which is Sorry, guys. wild to me. We are really dealing with just a whirlwind of. I think that stuff is. I feel like that is doing. accurate. Now, whirlwind sounds right. All right. Hopefully, you can hear us. Jeez. Oh, Our mics have ran away. So we are trying to figure out. We love Dial H. Well, thank and you. We love you guys too. All right. Hmm. I think it sounds fine. Yeah. Can you guys? Yeah. <coughs> listening back on the iPad right now. We're trying to figure sounds, things out. Seems like it sounds okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Okay. Won't be the best, guys. Sorry, but uh, yeah, we were going to go live earlier, but unfortunately, um, just we don't know where our mics are right now. Adepticon travel got in the way. We have some exciting stuff to talk about. Tomorrow is our big IPF tournament, so we'll be live right. all day tomorrow. So we'll be handing out a bunch of fun prizes, which some of that you guys will see tonight. <laughs> it's very, very true. Funny. Uh, like, way funnier than I can even describe. <laughs> but somebody's going to win a fun prize tonight. Uh, yeah. We've got some cool stuff to discuss. i got a dino hatchling in the mail. We've got some Connellys on display. These are all going to be given away tomorrow. We've got right. some custom stuff from Craftworks Ford, Ooh. which he sent free of charge oh. for the IPF to check out tonight. <laughs> Color has some... Some weird I, Whiz Kids game. This is a pro <laughs> this is a Whiz Kids product. I bought it not knowing it was a Whiz Kids product. Maybe we'll talk about it later. <laughs> it's unreal that this exists. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, as soon as I saw them, I knew I had to buy them. Ooh. So they have a cool shirt. Sure. Sure. Take a little, uh, trying to take a yeah, bite out of Spider-Man. I think this was $8 on the Big Bad Toy Store. Oh. So really? I was like, oh. Yeah, I was like, I had wow. to cop that. No, I think it is cool too. I, I don't own any shirts with Modoc. I love the color purple, so it all works out. Really? I think you love the color purple. <laughs> <laughs> that movie's great. It's a great <laughs> It one. is a good movie, yeah. actually. <laughs> Never seen it. And then uh, enjoying a nice LB liquid death tonight. This one is mango chainsaw. Oh, W. A little sparkling water. Uh, you know, we'll talk about the challenge at some point, but I think at it's some point. Too I think it's too, it's too early. early. It's too early. Not, not even a, not a weekend. I think no. it's too early. Not at this point. But guys, uh, we'll kind of let people. Hey, Anthony Bruno, I have that shirt. Sweet. <laughs> oh, nice. Big Bad Toy Store. Is that where you got it as well? Spider in it, amazing. Yeah, I really like that he's like coming out of his The mouth. spider is That's amazing. really cool. Beyond. Beyond amazing. amazing. Huh. We're not so, tired of that joke yet, right? We've got some stuff off screen as well, which, once again, somebody will walk away with, uh, some would say a bag of stuff. <laughs> some would say that. Some would say a bag of something. Yeah, someone would say something. a bag of something. Bag of something. Bag of something. Mm -hmm. So... Stay tuned for that, guys, but uh, it's just going to be a general hangout stream. Yeah. Uh, you know, just kind of taking a look at things. I think first off, the let's hatchling. review the hatchling. This, uh, well, first off, just on box, yeah. this is a 10 out of 10. I like the little uh, the leaves, the, the little light shining through, the yeah. color. It's... I like the new WizKids logo on top. Yeah, too. that's hey. pretty cool. So I, I like the box the design. Best, it's a the, good box design. It really is. I know it's weird to say that, but right when I opened it, I was like, oh, this is just a great color. You know? <laughs> this, is, uh, this is also 002 for WizKids E. It was an exclusive. Hmm. 24. So, so was Gingerbread Man 1? He, no, he was a 2023 one. That oh, he was one? Yeah. yeah, so that means there's going to be more non-Marvel, non-DC. George Washington is like five or six or something, too. So I'm really curious uh, to see what WizKids has in store. I never really, obviously, I've never got to look at the sculpt yet. Yeah. He's so a little guy. Something of note, though, guy. is that this is the, uh, let me grab another one. <clears throat> this is the smaller con exclusive box size. So unfortunately, yeah. the card did come bent, but you were used to it. This is a now a premium, <laughs> so but soon to become a standard. So I'm yeah, not sure. So. 
You know, the fact that they made this offer and then literally like three days later it was at my house, you know, I was that wondering cool. how much earlier these were printed maybe than these. So that could attribute oh. to the smaller box. Like this is That's true. entirely They're brand new. In hand, yeah. But I just threw it in a, a little top loader so I can flatten it out. So it's yeah. not the worst thing ever. But I've seen very, very uh, diverse opinions on if dinosaur hatchling is good or not. So you guys in the comments as well, feel free to weigh in. I'm going to go up right ahead. And I'm, I'm going to say, I think maybe in silver, this figure is going to be like super, super busted, okay. maybe like one way or another. But in modern, people are like, oh, you can get Kong for like five points less, but you have to kill this to, to get the Kong. And until it's killed, I just don't it's see what it's doing. Side blades piece, that's it. For those of you guys who don't know what he does, the big thing to sell it on is uh, this. So 45 points, it's five clicks of life. Same dial down the whole line, just 6, 10, 17, 2 with sidestep blades, combat reflexes, and a special shape change, which, whatever. Big thing is this. They grow up so fast. At the beginning of your turn, and whenever Dinosaur Hatchling KOs an opposing character, give them a growth token. So essentially, at the beginning of your turn, you're not killing, like, anything with this. Yeah. You get a token. When Dinosaur Hatchling would be KO'd, does not need to be an opposing effect, just would be KO'd, you may instead replace them with a character with the animal keyword. Very important note here. No point restriction, just animal keyword only, that's it. Turn that character to their first KO click, then heal them one click for each growth token mm. on Dinosaur Hatchling. Okay. So, pros. Uh, you could bring in and you could bring in a 10,000 point figure if it existed, if it yeah. had the animal keyword. Yeah. Cons. This has to die, and it's not doing anything until it dies. For 45 points, like, so I think I'm just willing to pay five more points to just have calm. So you want to like, be more proactive with calling, anyways. Why? Why I want to go around? in and just. You want to go in and bash. Yeah, yeah you want to wreck house, go monkey well. on some people, you know? So, yeah. while there is like. And so, like, in silver, the reason this why. This is a I, fun mechanic, though. Oh, I yeah. like the mechanic a lot. Like, it's is really it a fun cool. piece? Yeah, I love it. So abusable in silver with things like influence yeah. ring, uh, you know, picking up elevated drop. Oh, it. sure. Like, KOing this in one turn in silver, especially if you have 400 points, seems really reasonable. And then bringing in whatever you want. But remember, you only have one token. Yeah. Another thing, last another click. pro. Second click, yeah, second line. You don't have to, or there's no restrictions on healing them. So you could bring in 200 point Kong and then just support, support, support. And now you've cheated a 200 point Kong onto your 500 point Kong. 500 point Kong, why not? The sky's the limit. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> stocks <laughs> only go <laughs> up. <laughs> so. I just, I don't see it in modern. Uh, we can look through the comments a bit Jeez. here, but guys, I'm, I don't know, Calder, you talk a bit on it. I'll read yeah. some comments. I'll talk a bit. I'm going to talk a bit more to the, the thematicness of it. Sure. Why is it a brute? It's just a little guy. <laughs> it's just a little fella. Brute. He's not a brute. Uh, I love this, though. Real name unknown. Who could possibly know? Appearance. The Mesozoic era. I probably said that wrong. Mesozoic era. 66 to 252 million years ago. Mm. I love that. As it's a Dennis, it's with an funny. excellent point. Okay. Dino Hatchling will probably be very cool with all the Jurassic League stuff coming out. Oh, yeah. There might be some potential there. Without a doubt. Dinosaur fans, mm. it's your year. If you were a second <laughs> grader like me and obsessed with dinosaurs and went through their dinosaur phase, like, Mom, please, let me get the dinosaur magazine, please. please, please. Uh, I want the vest and, and the hat and the shovel. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? And the, like, <laughs> and the big claw, claw, claw thing and, and, and scare kids with it. Yeah. I, I loved dinosaurs growing up as a kid. I went through a dinosaur phase, so I'm... I'm excited to see dinosaurs coming back in just a crazy way this year. So yeah, for all the dinosaur lovers out there, it's this a is a very cool. This piece. is a little fella to get you excited for the big boys. Competitive or not, that are coming. Oh, cool piece, competitive or not. It's but I do awesome. think, I do think, in a way, it's abusable. Like you said, in silver, you can like one turn this guy. Pretty there has quickly. to be so so many but ways to just it, off this. Just stage. in like normal games, non tournament play, I think it's a really strong piece to play. Because yeah. usually those games are a little bit longer to a little bit more drawn out. So, mm -hmm. and in those games, we're just kind of get up in there and fight. You might be able to get dinosaurs. Still ten for blades. I think another you know? drawback too is he's not. Uh, he's tiny size, so you can't equip him. Yeah. If you could get like poison on him or something, you know, like I don't know, like you I've, I've, I've had a lot though, of people to die. Well, yeah, why exactly. Why equip him? Run him in. Make him a threat, have him die. Oh, sure, okay. Because right saying. now, it's like if I see this on the I was map, say, in my mind, I was like, you're just gonna drop the equipment. I guess is what I was saying. I was like, what? But yeah, okay, sure. The idea for a, a threat. 
the idea for like a, a meme, but you know, meme. competitive team would be to just play like four of these guys with Legacy APOC, who just has Mastermind within eight, and then put them at the corners of the map, and then that's, in the middle. <laughs> that's actually kind of cool. I like that. That's funny. Kill one, here's Kong. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's actually kind of cool. That's kind of funny. There's ways. But like, just to cheat five points, though. Exactly. Just yeah. To, and I'll just play Kong. Yeah, just play Kong. But at the same time, like playing this figure, that is funny though. I keep looking at him in modern right now. He feels very much like a trap card. If I can force you to do something to this, I'm gonna hurt you. You've really activated bad. my dinosaur hatchling. Because he can, fool, he can turn into uh, like he could be a cat Pegasus. Oh yeah, yeah, a hatch Pegasus be. at full points too. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, that's you true. Support them up. Support them up, and then the one twenty five line's not so bad. The only thing is, like in the era where you're five, pay them five more points for a cat Pegasus just to get them at the hundred twenty five point line. <laughs> so you save eighty <laughs> points actually <laughs> with a lot of work. The savings are unreal. <laughs> it's funny. Um, you can bring in a hound from the MOE. Other animals. Yeah. I okay, think... you could cheat on MOE for five points less, and you can still they can still be on your sideline with no reason, right? <laughs> oh my That's god! The... Who cares if MOE's on their last click? He he yeah. herbs. I already Inquisitor with his regen. Regen. So you guys aren't have? seeing the big picture. Yeah, they really yeah. aren't. We're hatching brilliance over here. But yeah, I think uh, this figure is. I mean, I I bought two Kongs just to get one of these because I didn't hand bought Kongs. That's legit. That's fair. And because I was just like, I really like this. I think it's cool. Is it 20 bucks, 30 bucks to get this kid? 50. $50. $50 on the shop.wizkid site, guys. Is that, it is honestly, still active. It's if that, worth it. If that opinion. stacks with the Justice League Time Master, I, keep saying, I always want to call the DC set a Justice League set. The Time Master wow. set, it's not a Justice League set. Uh, if that stacks with that, you get your two Colossal Boosters and a little Hashling. That's in really good. June or an extra Whatever, figure July. that is probably like yeah. there's probably some people out there who want hordes of these. Oh yeah, and that those will not be easy to get. I mean, what the yeah. value of this figure? Thirty bucks maybe, probably right around that. That's fair. Cost you know, thirty bucks to get them. Probably worth about twenty thirty bucks. Probably right around. Gingerbread that. men are about twenty bucks or less sought after. I think this guy's got more uses than the gingerbread men, so he'd you be know. more than that. If he yeah. becomes abusable in popular formats, uh, that value goes up. Yeah. So if you get that and an additional super booster, I think it's worth it to pre-order a Time Masters brick. Um, I have not done so yet, but I do plan on doing. I've already got one. I might do a case. Like, I might do a case. Well, that's what I'm thinking. I might as well just get a second one of those bricks with the extra booster, yeah. and, and then I can help you out. To I can help you get your Jurassic <sighs> League, and you can give me whatever. Batman, eighteen stuff. million Batman. The that Constantine exists. on the side of the box. I really, looks cool. really like that. The Etrigan with the speech bubble yeah. guys. What? And God, then the Superman God, flying around that man. Weird flat. Weird earth. flat Earth. Flat Earth and hero books. To be fair, we play on a, a flat surface, right? Hatchling in the Cap Wolf. Yeah. On his last. I saw some points. rules comments saying you can't choose a lower point value to what Dino brings in. Do you? Do you all know the comp on that? Why would that be true? When dinosaur hatching would be KO'd, you may instead replace them with a character with the animal keyword. There's no point restriction on is this. It, is it a replacement? Is it the rules for replacement or something, maybe? Hmm, I don't know about yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we're reading into this completely wrong. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe ignore the last ten minutes of this discussion. I don't know. That's kind of weird. I so want to go on Sunday, but work is until noon. It's on Saturday. Saturday. It's Saturday. Saturday. Don't worry, it's John Sanders. Tournament is tomorrow. Yeah, at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Well, dice drop at 1045. We'll be there at 10 to set up. Get registered pulp. and everything. It's pulp, easy builds. Fill out your build sheet beforehand. If not, we'll have them there. Technically, he's worth 50 plus shipping. Blech. Same with work, though. Ah, sorry, John. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks. Maybe we'll save you a... Uh... <laughs> We'll save you maybe something. <laughs> maybe we'll save you soft camera. It's... Oh, guys, I wish we could. Wish we could go more into it, but yeah. we will towards the end of the stream. Towards the end of the stream. Uh, but Dino Hatchling, I think, is a really solid, you know, additional thing to get. I like that they're doing these things to kind of push the online sales. I mean, especially with Iconics existing, it's like these are things I'm already going to buy. Yeah. So to just get thrown something extra yeah. feels great. Also, George Washington only being ten dollars, it's like let's keep that trend. Yeah, please. That kicked single figure butt. ten bucks. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. The butt kicked the butt. butt. Kicked the butt. <laughs> but. uh, yeah, I love that for George Washington. At Dragon's Lair, that's right. At Dragon's Lair. Yeah, somebody messaged me tonight and was like, "It's that Krypton, right?" I'm like, "No, 
It's at Dragon's Lair. It's the Lair, baby. We play at Dragon's Lair, baby. The place that I can never Dragon's go. Dragon's Lair. I always work on Sundays. 14116, I think something like that. 14616, something like that. West Omaha Avenue. That's not the real docks. address. But docks. It's totally docks, that store. Haha. <laughs> now people are going to drive in and do business. <laughs> you fool. You're done. You're cool. Idiot. <laughs> I can't uh, believe you just let that happen. Speaking of buying stuff at Dragon's Lair, I saw these cards and these poker chips in a Tupperware container there. And on top of these cards, this stack had a Sitting Bull card and a Jesse James card, which instantly piqued my interest. No need to open up a Tupperware. I just, I have to buy these. Uh, all these tokens have little plus one, negative one, negative three, plus three modifiers on them. But all these cards are like Wild West heroes and villains and anti whatever, all, all sorts of stuff. But they're real people. Like, on this card, it says, Photo, Western History Collection, University of Oklahoma Library. Like, these are all, like, kind of like real pictures. So, there's... Kind of real? No, they're, they're real pictures. Sorry, <laughs> they're real pictures. So, like, Sitting Bull is a dude card, so he's like a person. But then there are cards, like, let's find a cool one. But Coyote is always hungry. Which is a fortune card, which does something, but it's not a person. Like, it's so weird. But the fact that there was a some kind of TCG or collectible card game that's Wild West and like real people, Chief Joseph. Like, what? I was just, I was completely, you know, Captain uh, Captain J M Robinson looked uh, a little rough. But yeah, I was totally caught off guard by this, and even more caught off guard. So the game is called High Stakes Drifter. Uh, in the bottom corner, 2005, WizKids Incorporated, all rights reserved. Without even knowing, this this company, they just know. They know how to get my money somehow. Uh, this is an old WizKids collectible card game. Yeah. Well, huh? Really, really what? bizarre. <laughs> so, like, three years after Heroclix was made, they were like, yeah, we need to make a, a historically accurate Western card game. Is Bass Reeves in the deck? Or base, 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 Bass Reeves. Um, let's check here. Uh, Brandon, love the new size for the LE boxes. Seven are they just the size of older. character cards to make them fit, or are they a good cool. size bigger? I can show you. Bass uh, so here's an Ice Man. Uh, he popped open at the top. Um, eh, you really don't have much room in that Ice Man, like. There's there's a little there's probably about that much more room to the side for the card, but kind of show you in relation to the box here. Uh, that's about how much room you have left if you can kind of see. I know it's not ideal, but uh, yeah, it very much seems like it's just to kind of fit the card in. But if I give it a shake, I can hear it wiggling around a bit. I'm still looking for bass reeves here. Overall, it wasn't in the red deck, which I really, the deck. really solid uh, change. Oh, another thing too. While we have just some cool stuff out, because we've been away for a minute. Well, I mean, you guys saw the Peacemaker video, which was awesome. Oh, it was so awesome. I'm Con. glad you guys really liked that. We we love the intro. Shout out Ian's brother Jeff Eggleston <laughs> for making the song. Yeah, well, it. Ian wrote the song. I wrote that Jeff. two years ago. So that's what that was actually. I think like that probably the second or third thing for a while. that uh, I ever did for Dial H, and then it was in you know because we saw the Peacemaker sculpt in BTU. We're like, oh, we gotta, you know, it was right yeah. around when the show came out. It was like we gotta do it, and then uh, I mean, you know, just the the logistics of actually singing that <laughs> was not gonna happen. It's a we weird needed song. extra talent. Yeah, we really did. But uh, I got a Kanchu. I traded an old King Thor for a Kanchu, and I was very happy with that. And this is already a contender for me for Sculpt of the Year Ooh. at the 2024 Ooh. Clixies, uh, nine months from now. <laughs> but uh, I really like this. Texture's amazing. And it's a, it's just a really cool Honestly, figure. Though, really cool character. It's worth keeping, like, the, the, this is the first set of the year, right? April, March, this is the first set of the year. It's important to kind of keep things like this in mind because a lot of the Calixies was very, uh, the cult of new stuff was happening. It's like, oh yeah, we love new stuff, new stuff, new stuff. And that was like a lot of what was getting votes. kind of balled out though. That did ball out. That's true. Even some older stuff got votes. But for like a lot of like best set and everything, there's a lot of recency bias, I think. I would say so. Um, so well, Wheels of Vengeance didn't win anything. Didn't win anything? Notorious did though. Notorious won best set. But that was like, not the, I mean, yeah. yeah. 
A little bit. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's recent enough, you know. A60 but, was not. But kind of, you know, keep a... Uh, no, it's not. I, I don't mean to be show on either. But yeah, uh, there's the Bass Reeves. There's a Jesse James card, though. There's only one of him in here, by the way. Him and, like, Sitting Bull. Oh, Luke. So, okay. Yeah. Cool. Anyways, so, yeah. But keep anything in mind. New sets. Maybe even keep a notes tab for how you want to vote this year in the Clixies. For how you... Things you played this year. Uh, fun fact, what I'm doing, and I still need to do it to calculate my tournament last night, but I'm using HC units. Since I already kind of use HC Realms to keep pseudo track of my collection, I forgot to input. Oh, Namor did win Sculpt of the Year. So we'll oh, it did. So we eventually did win one. Thing. Wow. So I want to remember that. Thank you, Dennis. Yeah, that's... Dang. Shout wow. out to you, Dennis. That was dope. Dennis. Um, so right now, using HC units, every single time I play a figure, like per game, I add up on my halves for that figure. So that's how I'm going to try to keep track of how many figures mm. I played this year and how many, like, versions I played them or, like, how many times I played them. My number's really low right I now. don't... <laughs> I'm not counting if I played them on the sideline and they never came on the board. Oh, okay. So I'm not counting that at all. I'm only counting, like, main force and then if they actually were on the board. If I played two of one figure, that gets counted twice, you know? It's for each individual time I play that figure. So, like, right now, Pegasus Cap has got, like, played 20 times or something, you know, nuts, but... It's pretty cool. It's for pretty this fun. Year, it was tough remembering all my next phase stuff. So like next that's phase, yeah. It's mostly like next phase. For right now, yeah. It's yeah. Like, I think it's like only next phase for me right now. Probably. Yeah. Um, very, very close to that. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. That's not true. I played some of Luke. Uh, oh, that's right. You yeah. played some goon games. I got some. I got some good. I got yeah. some good gaming in. Not as much as I'd like. You know, you spend a lot of time in the world around Heroclix. Sometimes you yeah. forget to exist in the space of Heroclix. But that's okay, because this, I mean, just putting this on the shelf, like, that's oh, it looks incredible. That's what does it for me. Is he fit in this? <laughs> of course, right? Sorry, of course, fair. right? He has tall? to, right? Yeah, there's no way. Oh, he yeah, no, he's totally there. fine. Okay. For some reason, I was like, maybe he they would. Nah, he's got, like, an inch yeah. of clearance. Not quite an inch of clearance. Good deal. Five eights. Beautiful. I'll get you back in your eyes, man. I didn't realize Ice Man was kind of going to the side. He's backwards, too. Yeah, he's just backwards. I was like, is this a mess up? I popped out my. Yeah, he's straight up looking. But this is a prize for the IPF tomorrow. Yeah. So is this King Arthur right here. Uh, yes. This Kong is not a prize, but no. it is a prize. It's a little gift from Craftworks Forge, who, by the way, also just sent me a bat cave, which is like. Too nice. Adam, I mean, Adam, nice. what the heck? He's like, oh, I'm moving. I need to liquidate some stuff. I was like, oh, how much do you want for it? He's like, I'll just send it to you. I'm like, all right. He's like, well, I'm happy it's going to a real Bat fan. Too nice. Because I did buy his first uh, Batman. Finally a real Bat fan. Yeah, finally a real Bat fan. Finally a real Bat fan. You're the cave. Does someone say this is the coolest shelf in the house? Hmm, someone disagrees. Someone, someone disagree and can be wrong if they'd like. But yeah, that's really cool. So in addition to that, he also sent over some custom tokens. I'm really looking forward to... Just kind of handing these out as the day goes on. Oh, I like these, yeah. But we have some uh, some rings for it, you know. This is my Kong. Tokens. No one else's. Snaps in, which is really nice. Check this out. Snaps in, around. doesn't fall off. And you can click that dang dial. Oh, baby. Like, if you guys don't Pretty know cool. about Craftworks Forge yet, I mean, if you don't, it's crazy. I did a review on the channel of the box I got, which is back there. I'm not going to grab it right now. Maybe a bit later. Um, Adam makes amazing stuff. His custom tokens are great. The 3D prints he does are amazing. Carry cases, I'll say it, are the gold standard of how to carry your team. It's just, it's it's unreal. Adam is, like, I think the best, like, third-party designer for Euroclix right now. It's it's not close in my mind. That's fair. He makes really, really That's cool fair. stuff. That's fair. And you can do custom orders with him. Uh, so he sent over this little chip. It's got a QR code on it. So now we have a nice stack of these as well. But with that, he sent over these really cool custom tokens. And we'll yeah, just they're kind of fun. Tear them open. Somebody will win these tomorrow. We'll kind of hand them out how we see fit. Maybe the person's got a Kong on their team. The person that's cheating tomorrow gets these. Yeah, who's cheating tomorrow? <laughs> they kind of have a different feel. Where this yeah, is like very smooth. This is kind this of leathery. Like a, it's a very yeah. subtle... Well, if you get the light on, oh yeah, if you see the light, it's very it's got that cracked leather, leather skin, yeah. But they're custom Kong tokens. On the back, all of these say Kong. I don't know what yours say. They'll say Kong. They'll, They'll say, say Kong. Kong. In, the they same, have, in the same way. So these are like in the same or red, or black. Like gray. And then on the back, they have different artwork of Kong. I like the different Kongs. Kong shouting. What? Kong bashing. Kong love shouting. Man. Kong, Kong down. Kong down. Hey, calm down, man. Black Kong down. <laughs> White Calm Down. White Calm Down. The classic movie with... Uh, yeah. 
Oh gosh, Aaron Eckert? No. That I that's, that's the has fallen. Oh. It's two Olympus has fallen. Yeah, Olympus has fallen. That's what I was thinking of, not White House down. Which are I was big versus the Black Hawk down. I wish I could do my impression of the No. <laughs> it's not it's not family friendly. <laughs> This one is sick. <laughs> this is yeah, sick. he's roaring at that guy. Yeah, it's I don't know cool. if you guys can see that, but he gave us a couple sets of these tokens. They're fun. Which, yeah, they rock. I know someone's gonna be excited because everyone has Kong. If you don't have Kong, what are you doing? So someone will enjoy these tokens, hopefully. I don't see how they couldn't. In addition to that, we don't need to pop these out. These are just small he versions knows these ones. of this. We know what these are. We know what they do. Great for marking your figures if you have multiples. Maybe you still want to use your poker chips. Does he have uh, yes, tokens. Uh, Twinkie ones in there? Does he have Twinkie ones yet? No, no Twinkie It would be like impossible yet. to turn the base with a Twinkie one, though. So That's true. It'd be tough. I want to figure out how to differentiate all of my... Mr. Characters. Immortal is figure of the year. We already have that down. Dang. Facts. Dang. Facts. 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 Also love the on your left tokens. Oh, that's cool. Well, those are fun. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed those, man. I had a blast uh, kind of conceptualizing that for our token guy, Luke. So it was a fun time. I want King Arthur so badly. Well, if you're in Omaha tomorrow, I also want him badly. Win. So I, yeah. I want. Him. I also <laughs> want one, and I'm yeah. happy to own him. He's Super a stat stoked. monster. We'll He's talk about some King Arthur stat later tonight. We're not doing anything. We'll go as long as we want tonight, guys. Yeah. Uh, once we're done, kind of covering what's on the table, though, we will do our little giveaway. And then maybe we'll talk about some King Arthur builds because I've been kind of cooking with them. For sure. Is there anything uh, going on in there? How many total prizes are there tomorrow? So many, man. Uh, we've got 16 broadswords for top 16. Yep. We have Star O Fights as a door prize. So just for coming, you get yep. a Star O Fight. We've got an Iceman. We've got a King Arthur. We've got three Peacemaker Iconics, Wings of Eagly. We yep. have two pizza boxes. Project Butterflies. Yeah, Project Butterflies. We have multiple sets of pizza boxes. Um, one of like or I think two or three of each. Of each We've got size. Rainbow Hand Superman, a couple of him. We've yep. got uh, a Venom God, I believe. Yep. One Venom God, Thor Gwen, a couple of her, three Jokers. Um, three Jokers. Four four retail three chase Jokers. Boosters. Yeah, three the three Jokers. <laughs> No, no. Yeah, uh, sorry, uh, I, just, I just wanted to reference your favorite Batman story. Yeah, my favorite sorry. favorite Batman story. Go ahead. Um, am I blank? I think that might be towards the end. I might be. What's up? The Disney Plus boosters. Yeah, we got four retail. Okay, we said that. Okay, then yeah. I think that's about everything. But it's a it's a stacked prized event, and for tuning in tomorrow online, we might have some stuff to give away Ooh. as well. Ooh. Um. Like I said, we've been in a whirlwind the last few days, so the, Quite the whirlwind. there's a few things that Quite are like whirlwind. question marks right now, but it's okay. It's super okay. We're going to get through it. We're fine. We always do, and we always have fun doing it. But yeah, in addition, I just really... like a black eye missing a tooth. <laughs> we always do. Shut the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited to hand these out uh, when somebody criticizes. I love that, dude. <laughs> get flogged. Just dropping that on the table, say, hey, throw that on your box or something. Nice. Little. I like that one too. Yeah, it's very actually like, on the token as well. It is. Uh, I don't know why I pointed there. Those are just poker chips. Yep. These are sweet. How about this? I love. I like the thumbs up Kong. What's awesome about you. ordering from Adam too is he always puts like stick. Like he put a Batman sticker on my box when I ordered the case. He put another That's one cool. when I got the back cave. And then with the with the Kong one, there's one on this on the packaging which just says thank you with the thumbs up. So Adam is the coolest guy. Um, cool even if maybe you don't love his products, you should just consider supporting him anyways, but you do love his products because they're literally like, they're so cool. Um, I can't plug him enough. Craftworks Forge is seriously the highest tier. I know he's working on getting international shipping done, so, um, he's currently moving, so it'll probably be a few months before that happens, but if you are international, get in contact with him anyways, let him know that you want to see something. Uh, yeah, and he... Definitely. Continues to message me saying, how else can I support the IPF? I was like, you are good. <laughs> you do enough, enough, enough. So, that is very exciting. Even more prizing to be given out. Let's see. Uh, hello from Australia. Hello. Hello there. Mike. Let's see. Uh, have you guys seen any cool long... Oh, Kong Customs. Yeah, somebody did a Vegeta the other day. I did armor. I did see that. The That's the one? Earlier Will asked, I saw the comment Will asked, what's the coolest Kong custom? It's that one. The armor around him? Yeah. The DK tie that well, Diego did. That was fun. That was I liked cool. that one. I liked the Infinity Gauntlet, the Gauntlet one. one. Oh. That was one out there. There's a lot of like really simple ones out mm -hmm. there, but I think... I'm waiting for someone to color armor. change them. <laughs> Can anyone do that? 
That'd be so Pop, gross. Dude. He'd be gross. <laughs> the the Dragon Ball Z one though, easily my favorite. I don't yeah. care if you like Dragon Ball Z or not. That was it looks so cool. Sick. I think some like shackles around his arms, breaking free some chains would be really cool. Ooh, yeah. That'd be like sick. I dig that. You know, there's a lot. I'm gonna give mine a snapback. <laughs> Just give him a hams hat. That could be pretty cool. Maybe a uh, okay, Ian. Okay. Maybe yeah. just giving him a big sword would be cool. Big sword? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Stab himself in the head. Maybe like a knife going this way. Or a gun. Oh, yeah. He's holding it sideways, too. Because that's how it's yeah, supposed to Yeah, if he was like, you know, like hardballing them. Oh, hardballing them? Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really funny. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of cool customs out there. Guys, guys, don't fight. We all know that if you agree with Cap and Batman in their respective universes, you're already morally right stay united were we fighting yeah you were, were fighting you were, you were hating on who was i hating on you were hating on batman hating on batman yeah it's cool it's cool it's cool i don't remember doing that yeah. do y'all think spiderling is a must play for modern pulp these days no who's spiderling i think right now the must plays for me like and i don't i think you can go in different variations but if you had to define like must plays uh, Blackheart Orb is like such a That's nasty combo. Really must play. Mr. Sinister is very close to must play, and I, I hate that. I hate his dice He's replacement. awful. He's the worst. <laughs> um, Necron is very, very yeah. close to must play. But then you can also go the line of like Falcon Deathstroke. That's another like you could argue must play. Blue Marvel. Uh, Doctor Strange, I think. Red Widow. Red Widow. Oh, yeah. Red Widow, dude. Holy uh, Madison, too. Holy shit. She really must play. Same. Perplex, Mystical, her and Doctor Strange. You kidding me? Ugh. Um, yeah. That's like the top, like, ten. I don't know how many figures I named. That, that's like the field for Pulp. That's what I'm expecting to see a lot of. Although, I hope people get a bit creative. I hope I'm we see, see some, some more creative teams. Gotham City Underworld. I'm hoping for our area... You shine. Know, I really want them to shine and show off their creativity here tomorrow. That is a hope. Pulp, pulp but they really are playing the for some, some big stuff. Top That's right. 16 Top walks 16's away with a broadsword. The second event you're ever able yeah. to get a broadsword at. That's really cool. And they'll also be available in San Antonio. That's right. You guys, listen to the podcast. You can hear more details about that. We talked with our boy, Azale, who also has like a monster amount of prizing. It'll be a lot yeah, of fun. It's going to be really cool. Um, possibly like more so than even our event, which is wild. Kind but crazy. Uh, I can understand why people would just, you know, if I was playing and I didn't have a broadsword and I wasn't going to cons, I'd probably be like, all right, well, I got to do Black Heart Orb. Yeah. Oh, Poison Ivy Rare, too. That's another just nasty, oh, nasty yeah. piece. Underplayed. Yeah. Truly Manifold, underplayed. too. Manifold. Manifold. It's Defense crazy. Case. Yeah. Um, there's a lot. And then Dracula, Tenpoint. obviously. Dracula. I mean, of course. Is somebody playing Dracula? Somebody tomorrow? might so walk away with I, some cool stuff. I don't want to spoil a team, but I, I know someone's going to play Dracula tomorrow. Ian. Ooh, I actually okay, well, do. He's gonna get, we're going to give him something. Oh, he's getting some fellowship prizes for sure. Maybe. Biggest Dracula fan gets a, gets a fellowship prize. 100%. That's just how it is. Um, yeah. Obviously. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. Those look cool. Correction, Madison is figure of the year, no contest. Oh. I crit somebody at a Defcon with an empower the year. into the wall. I did five damage with the Madison, and before rolling, I went, nobody said she'd crit you out the game. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Scored 50 points. Like, wow, that actually killed the whole table. Yeah. Just losing it. Crit out the game. Highlight of a Defcon. So Madison, special place in my heart. Five damage from her. It was beautiful. She bad. And shout out to Chuck. Uh, his last name starts with a B. Played him a lot over Morris. the weekend. He was a ton of fun. I played him three times. He whooped me with a wall. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's bad. But then I whooped him with an abomination. So it was like, you know, where I was literally just it's pulling fair. tokens from him and yeah. quaking him. Oh, dude, turn. it's so sick. Uh, let's see. Lol, guess I got to figure out how to word her. Guess I got to skip work somehow. <laughs> I think that was probably Skip it, bro. Surprising. Skip that work. Uh, don't you mean Madison? I can't argue with that. Good luck on the event tomorrow. Good luck to all the players. Oh, hey, Azale's hanging out in here. Brad says hi. Hello, Brad. Hey, Brad. Will says it's Brad from Bradcast. It is Brad from Whoa. Bradcast. It's Brad. Yeah, Madison. Brad oh, he spelled Madison wrong. Ah. Oh, that's okay. Dennis. So the broadsword construct was really cool. If we do get more exclusive equipments like that, what would each of you want made? Like a Green Lantern construct as equipment? Is that what we're saying? Uh, just more exclusive equipment. More exclusive equipment? He says, I want to see an Odin sword and an Excalibur. Yeah, Excalibur. Oh, if we're going swords, That's gotta we be need one. Excalibur. 1,000% yeah. we need Excalibur. So freaking bad. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, we're just saying purely swords. I don't know what else there'd be besides like, Excalibur and it's like the Dark Blade sword. or whatever, the Black Knight sword, the Ebony. Oh, sword. the Ebony Blade. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, <sighs> that's about who else? You I like people sword? with shields. Not really a sword guy. Um, who else has sword? Like immediately, I'm like okay, Black Knight has Deadpool's one. twin katanas. Yeah, would that could those that be those equipment? Are just like swords? They're though. just yeah, normal. No, swords. it's got to be Excalibur. Yeah, Excalibur, one thousand percent. It would be so made. cool if it was like it starts in like the middle of the map and it becomes like an objective or something. You have to pull it from the sword. You make it a relic. Some, some, yeah, relic. something like that. That'd actually be kind of wild. An uh, armor. Something like that. Maybe a special hat, map. Maybe it's not even an equipment. Maybe eight special rules it's, on a map. It's like an orange square. Orange square on a map. I and like then you, you put a token on a card to represent what it does. Okay. I would still like the physical Excalibur. Oh, I mean, me too. Yeah, come on, yeah, we got him. Yeah, I'm right here. The boy. The king. I don't know. If we're just doing, like, blanket equipment, though. Um, oh, do, 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 do. Gosh, I don't even know. Blanket equipment. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, you guys sound off. What for, like, for a see? Green Lantern. Kind the Vibro Blade. What's that? Oh, that is somebody's sword that like vibrates. Um, whose sword is this? Wait, is not Raiden's sword? The Vibra Blade? I think that's Raiden. I've heard Metal of Gear this. Solid. Is it? Oh. I think that's Raiden's sword. What do you mean? Oh. No, I went. Oh, I, was oh. Like, I don't know. I have oh, no I idea. No. Oh, okay. I was like, no. Gear Metal Gear Solid is fine. Yeah. I never really played them, but it's like Metal Gear Solid. I like playing a snake in uh in Smash Bros. Oh. When he came out, I was like, I don't really know who this is, but he's dope. You wow, really? I was like ten. When Brawl came, well, Brawl. Even I knew who he was. I was nine. Well, like I knew who he was, but I never yeah. played the game. Oh, I never played any. I didn't play any Metal Gear Solid games until like twenty nineteen. Really? Until oh. I was like twenty one ish. Yeah, I uh. One night, it's fun like Final Fantasy. I know who Cloud is, but uh, like, who is anyone? Else? Yeah. Sephiroth, like Seth, Seth Sephiroth. Yeah. You've done the evil. Uh, no, fun Metal Gear Solid. I had the PS One. <laughs> Sorry, time out. Dang. Zayl texted That's me and said, how it's "Better than Diego." That's just how it Zayl dresses, though. That's All right, Zayl guys, Kong. you guys sound off. Is this better than the Infinity Gauntlet Kong? I'll make sure savage. you guys can see it. We're on a delay. Savage. Is this better than Infinity Gauntlet Kong? Zayl. Big Stepper in the comments is saying it is. Um, I don't know. Can you guys even really see that? Can they see it? <coughs> kind of, sort of not. Kind of, really. sort of. He's got like a big Hawaiian, Hawaiian shirt on. Hawaiian shirt on. And you know I don't know, Azale. No, uh, but I don't know. when I played Metal Gear Solid 1 for like this PS, you know, little PS1 that like isn't a PS1, you know what I mean? You know yeah. that one? Uh, one yeah. night, I got like halfway through the game, didn't play it for like two months. One night I woke up at 2 a.m. and I was like, I gotta do it. And then I played it until like oh 7 a.m. 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> <Dude>, exactly. <laughs> you and I was like, I couldn't, I just couldn't sleep. And I was like, all right, I gotta beat it. And then that's when I found out the hard way that like the end of the Metal Gear Solid game has just a 20 minute cutscene about nuclear war. And I'm like, why? I wanna go back to bed now, please. I, I beat your game, silly Konami <laughs> people. Uh, and then it just has 20 minute thing about. Nuclear crisis. <laughs> like, so, all right. Did Brad ever... Star Wars... Is... Vibro Blade is Star Wars. Oh. Okay. Star Wars, it's a blade that vibrates to rare levels. I think it was used in the first or second episode of Mandalorian. Now, I don't want to skip any comments. I, I know it's like the dark saber from Star Wars. I know that Which one. is just a lightsaber, right? Some Star Wars fans. Because it's not just a lightsaber! You know. I'm any sure idea on how many players tomorrow? And there is... Is there a limit due to space? Um, no limit. Playing in the parking lot. I'll put yeah. my truck bed down. We'll get two games yeah. going on in the truck. I don't care. No I don't. Limit. I don't know how many people. If I was gonna guess, probably like thirty. That's about what we got. I'm hoping states. for about thirty. Thirty would on be on the high end. Good. If we get forty, it's like, oh, well, like, wow, you really put your guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dial H does support the custom stuff. Yes, we do. We love it. Hundred percent, dude. What oh, about the giant axe from the movies? That's cool. That's, That's like fine. He, the Godzilla, not the newest Godzilla versus Kong, but the one before that, had a great fight scene where he like blocks the charge of Godzilla with his axe, and then it's supercharged, <laughs> and then he hits him with it. I'm like, that's rocks. Dude, symbols and a fez for a custom Kong. <laughs> the monkey, that yeah. rocks. That'd be cool. Use the 
10,000 BC, Phoenix figure to ride on his back to mirror jail on fire. Mm. I hate that figure so much. Yeah, not a fan, but yeah. that's okay. It's still a good idea. It's okay. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. Blackheart, Orb, Necron, Doctor Strange, Red Widow, Falcon, Peeper, Lol Team, One Me, Winnebrick. Good job. Nice. The team seems... Yeah, Peeper. Peeper! Yeah. Forgot about Peeper, dude. Plus two moving power? Forgot about him. Nice pick, Brandon. I actually really like that. How is nobody... No one's really playing Peeper, though. Huh. That's kind of crazy. See through everything, too? See through everything. Everyone revisit Peeper. Dang, Brandon, I'm blowing up your spot right now. <laughs> Everyone go check Peeper. Talk out to your ball. Brandon Bruner tech. Yeah. Go get Peeper, go get Peeper. If you have been affected by a Peeper, talk to a Brandon Bruner oh, for no. compensation. Oh, no. <laughs> the way I roll, Orb is a must regardless. For sure. Destro from Batman team up. Oh, yeah. Did I not say Destro? No, you said Destro. You said, said Falcon yeah. Destro, yeah. Spiderling is the direct answer to Orb. That is true. So dropping Orb is one of the most plays just makes Spiderling all the more relevant, right? Just saying, don't sleep on this anti-Orb tech. I am going to sleep on her. I don't like her. She's fa- <laughs> that's how That's how it works. I mean, like, you're not wrong. I hate how I hate how dice replacement is more relevant in pulp. I know, right? That sucks. I how really... You're not wrong, Hypnosis Pictures. By the way, it was great meeting you at Adepticon. Yeah, that was um, cool. Yeah, I think we're both just in the camp. I don't like I hate that dice figure, but you're not wrong. I don't like that piece. Wrong. But yeah, straight up choose any number on the die and have it. That's uh, one that's of our good. one of our patrons played a team with the Prime Thor and Double Spiderling, where his whole goal Automatic was to auto crit Pulse Wave knockback you. So his Pulse Wave does three, three plus one for the crit, plus one for knockback. So it's a five damage Pulse Wave. Whole idea was just TK him across the board and get that attack off. Yeah. I think he ended up going like 3-1. and one Dude, <laughs> his, his one loss was against me, which was crazy because my entire team has like four clicks of life each. You know? And I was <laughs> just like, oh my gosh, please. It's so scary. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Ronan is going to be fun to fall too. Yeah. Yeah. Ronan's cool. I think Red Widow still kind of edges him out, but when she rotates, Ronan's, Ronan's in there. I think you can still make the case for Ronan, though. I think so too. He's got more survivability than she does, but less offense, of course. For real, anti-meta is always something to look at. Regardless, dice replacement is always a good consideration. Just wish she was cheaper. Or still yeah. on that. Okay. Viber blade, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Hoping to hear about hero clicks for Huntington soon, since it's less than a month away. Yeah, there should be maybe, something. Probably. Yeah. We haven't we haven't heard from anything on our end. As somebody uh, that uh, we're not going either. Sadly, got to make so. a legacy card or got to choose a figure to be a legacy card in it with my team. Shout out Matt Reed and Spencer White. I'm very excited. I'm very excited for any potential news. Any equipment? Honestly, I thought swords because of the con exclusives this year. But the map idea is really cool. Cool. Good luck on the event tomorrow. What is the format? It's pulp. It would be cool to do something with the WWE figs this weekend since it's WrestleMania this weekend. Why are we always competing? (sighs) It's literally first night WrestleMania tomorrow. And I just... Somehow, we plan all these things out in advance. The Clixies both times have been been on some... WrestleMania. Not WrestleMania. A thousand sub... That was on SummerSlam or something, dude. Yeah. It's every single time we do a live stream, people are like... I'm watching this, and I'm watching WrestleMania. I'm like, why do we have to keep fighting wrestling for this? <laughs> We're cosmically um, aligned. We just keep forgetting. Stone like, Cold and Stone- Roman Reigns. Let's see, how many wrestlers can I name? Eddie Guerrero, that's three. Andre the Giant. Uh, Hulk Hogan. Jeez, I'm tapping out. No, no, I'm not tapping out quite yet. Um, Shawn Michaels is a wrestler. Okay, six. Who else? Uh, Socko. Is he not What's a wrestler? His name? What's his name? Puppeteer. <laughs> Man of Socko. Oh, that's close. Person of Socko? Man, oh man. Man? Dude, I don't know. I don't want to give him too much of a hint. What about so a, is, a, is, is it like a, a Curry or a Kira? Is that a wrestler or something? A, a Kari? Oh, you're so close. I'm so close. So I don't know vaguely who that is. Uh, Sting! Sting! Yes! Okay, I was like, you gotta say my Sting favorite my wrestler favorite. at least, Ian. Yeah, Sting, come on. Sting rocks. Uh, oh, Undertaker. There we go. Uh, I want you to get 10. Yeah, I can do it. I can do it. Brock Lesnar. There we go. South Dakota represent. South Dakota represent. <laughs> Probably one of the most famous people to come out of South Dakota. Probably oh, is, um, yeah. Can't look at the comments. They might. Oh, they're, they're definitely. Oh, sure. my God. Dude, I gotta get one. I need one more. One more. Ten, one more for 10 wrestlers. Did Mr. T wrestle ever? <laughs> he did have a match against Hulk Hogan. Oh, does Donald Trump, does he, did he wrestle? He, I mean, yeah. He was technically in wrestling. He was in a lot of stuff. Yeah, he's not a wrestler. Oh, we, we made fun of that one guy. Uh, I I know a tenth, but it's like... Don't bad. say him. Yeah. Don't say him. 
Everybody knows who we're talking about. All right, about I got 10. Yeah, yeah. Everyone knows who I am. Everybody knows who we're talking about. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> we did it. Good job, Ian. Good job. <laughs> Booker T. Oh, yeah, there we go. 11. Yeah. Booker T. You're a real 10. Booker T. Yeah, a real 10. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, that was fun. Jeez. What are they saying in there? I got Star Wars. Okay. We'll What's good for lunch? There's a sinful burger. They got burgers based off the seven deadly sins. And the Raft Burger, I think, is Simeon's favorite. And my favorite is Greed. Uh, I want to say. Uh, maybe we'll like good burgers. Some pizza they also have too. a Raising Cane's. Get yourself the Caniac Mankind. Combo. Mankind. Yeah, that's, that's who you were trying to think of as Mankind. Nobody said Asuka. Oscar. Oscar. Oh, jeez. Oh, I guess I didn't know. Yeah, that's what I thought you were going with the beat here, I guess. I was at the WrestleMania where Trump got a stone cold stunner. Oh! oh my gosh. Oh my history, gosh! History in the ring. <laughs> that's like gotta be the most iconic, one of the most iconic things in wrestling. One of the most iconic WrestleMania moments? <laughs> Trump that and like stunner. maybe Undertaker's retirement match? Is he the only president to be stunned? He has to he be. Is. Right? No, he definitely is, 100%. Does that. Count I don't want to go down this. Let's not, I don't want to make yeah, jokes about not, it, yeah. but it's really funny. That's it truly is. Jeremy. Like, that's all. Like, I wish I was there for that. It would have been sick. I mean, it would have been really cool. Not even because I didn't fan of it at the time, but because what I could say that, like, the night like he got elected, I'd be like, saw that guy get stunned. I saw that guy get stunned. Only Ooh, thing I want to say. Yeah. <laughs> 2016, November, whatever. I saw that guy get stunned. Raising Cane? Yeah, I'm eating that. For sure. Rings, for sure. Rings, awesome. Now, can you dig that sucker? Who's that? That's is that not Booker T? Is that Booker T? Can you dig that sucker? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's Booker T. Oh, um, also I could have said uh literally John Cena, Peacemaker. Didn't say Oh Cena. wow, you didn't even say John Cena. Brad, you're wrong. The sauce is not trash. You have bad taste. I'm sorry, that's just true. That's Brad. like the best. Yeah. Thing. It's it's like it's better than Chick-fil-A sauce. Mm. It's better than any other sauce. The sauce is solid and you're wrong. I'm sorry, Brad. I love you, Brad. Brock sauce is wrong. almost breaking his neck doing a shooting star press against Kurt Angle. Oh, Kurt Angle, too. I do know him. In fact, you didn't say Kurt Angle. Intensity, intelligence, and Yeah. I was wow, I know more wrestlers Integrity. than I thought I did. And it's Good. solely from being around you and <laughs> I had like a few action figures growing up. Who's the guy? Who's the money guy? That's what I was trying to think of. Is his name literally like Money Man or something? Dollar Man? <laughs> Dollar it's guy. uh, geez, what is his name? He, you, you guys always talk about him as like one of the lamest, like he got just like retconned into just, the lamest character. Yeah, it's, that's, you know, that's who Billy and Cook's Bruce is based off of. Jeez, the Million Dollar Ted, Man. Ted DiBiase. Ted DiBiase. Million Ted DiBiase. Uh, million Dollar Man. Ted DiBiase. Wow. Okay. The Million Dollar Man. Yeah, I thought that was isn't that a movie or Million, million Dollar Man? Man? That's a that's a uh, TV show. Yeah, the Bionic Million Dollar Man or whatever. They used to make memes of that. Yeah, <laughs> like, uh, so I can only imagine. <laughs> some, he said he couldn't be some <laughs> Veterans Day kind of memes. No, or, oh, okay. <laughs> no, no. It was it had to do with like when we were. Uh, uh, we would like, you know, we trade stocks, and like if somebody made oh, like fifty bucks, put them in man. the intro or something, run yeah. around, that'd be cool. I am my man. All right, what we building? All right, he's from Omaha, and so is Sting. Sting is from Sting Omaha? is from Omaha. Yeah, yeah. Sting is from Omaha. That's good news. Sting was born in Omaha. He was more so raised. That's in the California. six million dollar man. I knew. Yeah, I thought yeah. that was uh, six. So yeah, uh, Sting was born here, but he was like more so raised in California. So hmm. it's kind of like Sting's fake. No, <laughs> come on, Bill, don't, don't, Bill. Bill, we're not don't, going there. Don't. Let's not. Do don't that. even start that, Bill. Oh wow, instantly gonna. We can't. You can. I don't know if I'm. No, Are you it's not that right. oh, Okay, that's what let's let's. Wow. Yeah, no, it's not a big deal. Uh, As he keeps trying to leave. No, no, it's not a big deal. I, I like, don't care. To, I was trying to scroll. <laughs> oh, I thought you were trying to Who's delete this? It. How do you say this? Sheik? From Smash Bros? Princess? Oh, jeez. I don't know who the Sheiky Zelda? Baby is. The Iron Sheik, I know that is, but Sheiky Baby? Nobody said Macho Man. Oh, my. Yeah, dude. I was waiting for you to say Macho Man Randy Savage. There's more wrestling. That's what I was waiting I'm, for you to say. I'm more tapped in than I thought. Yeah. I mean, well, he I'm did not name in. a single. Cole tapped out. I'm tapped out. Oh, wow. We're called every night. Yes, I just... No. No. <laughs> so I'm I'm cold, this is how cold it goes to sleep I'm every night. <laughs> Ian. Can't, I can't fall asleep. Ian, I can't fall asleep. 
Just <laughs> drop from the ceiling. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, you didn't name a single AEW wrestler except for technically Sting. What's AEW? AEW uh, is All Elite Wrestling. That is WWE's mm-hmm. main competitor right now. Arguably better than WWE right now. More interesting. Oh, there's that guy who storylines. who left the Pat McAfee show who was on AEW. Yep. Um, and his name is. Give me a hint. Adam. Straight. Adam Cole. Adam Cole. Adam Cole. <laughs> Two first names. Don't Adam trust him. Cole, baby. Hey, Don't trust him. Two first names. Uh, can't do it. You have Brian Danielson. That just sounds like uh, once sounds again, though. Made, up. made his well, his that's his real name, but his <laughs> WWE name is Daniel Bryan. And let's be real, is he AEW? Yes. Is his day AEW run anything compared to any of his WWE runs? No. And let's not get into wrestling, but that's true. I'm glad everyone's enjoying the wrestling talk. Yeah. I, honestly, I remember... Uh, Once again, Chris Rizzi's correct. That is where all the best, uh, whatever, is one happening. My, one of my most upvoted comments on Reddit ever was uh, Reddit with the comment? WWE... Uh, did not get me red and gold. No, I did get red and so gold one time though. There's one oh, comment right. I had that was above this. So one what? Of them, give, give me this one. When WWE was announced, I went. I saw that on Reddit. I was like, "What?" Like the hero click set. Oh yeah. And I commented. I was like, "Wow, I don't care about this, but I'm glad other people do." And uh, I guess that really resonated with I a lot of folks like go, myself. Yeah. Personally, I was so in, obviously so incredibly excited. I was just about not possibilities at the time. It was really cool. I mean, you know, like. Uh, there, there. That, that's what's what's really cool about Hero Clips. Is there's the a lot part. of stuff like this that might not scratch your fancy, but the there's fact so that it exists, there, yeah, is so awesome. It's so awesome. like, I don't know. In a way, that that like does it for me. Where it's like, I just like that we have such a vast like culmination of things yeah. now. The fact that we just get generic dinosaurs. What the yeah. heck? It's cool. So, you know, for people who maybe weren't a fan of the next phase stuff, it's at least really cool that we get TV show. Figures. Yeah, you know, I like that. Or cinematic universe figures. And who's to say that they're done doing that? You know, I have yeah, high hopes know. for the Daredevil TV show. Oh, I Maybe such high hopes for the Daredevil show. Oh my really gosh. cool stuff there. We finally get, oh, dude, Charlie Cox, <laughs> John Bernthal, and Heroclix. Yeah, I'm down yeah. with that. I've never watched a minute of wrestling, I feel, out of my own. Hey, me too, man. Uh, but sometimes you get put in the hot seat. Uh, we will, let's see. I used to watch so much wrestling. I used to watch every WWE show, and I would, I would watch it constantly. But I just can't keep up with wrestling anymore. I just became, I became a Facebook wrestler. I look at Facebook and see who won matches. <laughs> and, like, that's how I yeah. see highlight reels and stuff of, like, pay-per-views. Chappelle show like, iconics. Bill Stott. Charlie Murphy with Didn't a Didn't have to look. Down. I knew that was Bill. Okay, so we are going to do our giveaway to one lucky winner in the comments here, guys. Don't show it yet. Okay. Don't show it yet. But after that, Hypnosis Pictures asks, what are you all experimenting with in Modern right now? Uh, Now that no events are coming up for it soon, this is where the most left field testing comes out for a lot of us. How about you? I would say (laughs) I would quit Heroclix, Bill. Wow, that's a very... (laughs) The Chappelle show iconics would be cool. Come on. Wow. Okay, I don't want to get off track. But yeah, we'll talk about some stuff we're building within Modern, maybe some silver stuff. Someone can finally just instant uh, kill. We'll talk about if Dave Chappelle can insta-kill Scott Porter, remove him from the game, I'm all out that. <laughs> he needs to make a couch terrain for those of you guys <laughs> who know that. <laughs> that's that's yeah, No, if Dave Chappelle shows Scott Porter, he can remove Scott Porter from the map instantly. I love that. Mm. That's why we need Dave that's Chappelle. That's why we need Dave Chappelle. He's the silver bullet for Scott Porter. You've seen it. You've seen the little, quite literally, silver bullet for Scott Porter. You've seen that clip, right? No. Silver Bowl for stuff. Yeah. Dave Chappelle, Scott Porter, when he gets on the show and he, uh... No, that, that's not Dave Chappelle. Forget I said anything! Forget I said anything! No. Forget no. I said anything! That's Eric Andre. Ah! That's when he, Eric Andre, like, points I'm sorry, guy. those are the same guy for me. I don't know why. They're both very, like, zany. Yeah. Anyways, guys, we're gonna do yeah. a giveaway. Yeah, we're gonna move cool. away from that. <laughs> Although that is a very funny clip. Great clip. Uh, it is. I mean, the fact that Scott Porter's PR team probably said, like, yeah, you're going to go on this interview. And he's like, okay. And then that. <laughs> that happens. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So, giveaway time. Caller, why don't you show one person is going to win all of these. All of these? This now big old them. bag. Now I'm allowed to get them? A bag o And then we'll talk about some It actually stuff. isn't a bag, though. The, the Spider-Men aren't bag. really in a bag. No. This is actually figures in a bag. Yeah. You get an entire bag of sorrows. One, one person. You're going to get 12. You're going to get 12 <laughs> sorrow fights. This is the giveaway for tonight, guys. Look at these little fellas. We've got 12 
Ashy Larry, Rick James, Prince, yeah. Are really you a big fan it. of the Suicide Squad? Do you like little starfish dudes? I dig the Doom hoodie. Wow, we both got the compliments on Thank that you. Thank Mike you. Mike Buell says, yes! Chappelle show Prince making pancakes. <laughs> Those cats could ball. <laughs> Me please, Starro's bago. Somebody, is that, are those poop emojis? No, they're not. Those monkeys emojis. Oh, gosh. Oh. Yeah, they're yeah, like, they're like apes. Yeah, yeah. Like it like kind of looks. Okay, but guys, you know, on episode 500, if you didn't listen, if I'm not mistaken, Calder, did WizKids not heavily hint at the fact that there would be a Starro legacy? They did heavily hint. Is there they a did. possibility that these might work with those? There's a possibility. There's a possibility. There's a possibility. I actually know Whiskey's that. Whiskey's was pretty... If you didn't want, listen to episode 500, number one, shame on you. Number two, go listen to it because if you like the Whiskey's interview we dropped earlier this week, mm. you'll love episode 500. Not only is it a great time with... In, in, uh, Hypnosis Picture says, yes, they did. Can somebody in the comments myself, remind me what they said? Yeah, remind me what they said because they heavily, heavily, heavily... Yeah. It's like, I think it, I think they might have said literally, like, it's all but confirmed. It's all but confirmed. Something yeah. Like that. Which Starro... Great question. I think there's... Who could it be? There's two. I feel like there's kind of one... There's a comic exclusive. And then there's the, the like, coming of Starro. What was it? Starro Takes Over? Starro the Conqueror. Yeah, the event Wasn't name it was, Starro like, the Conqueror? Yeah, but there was, like, an event name for it. The coming of Galactus event, and then it was, like, the... Whatever. The world Doesn't matter. Starro. They unofficially confirmed it. Okay. Ooh, but which Starro? I have the con exclusive one. And that's where you gotta make bets! Little Wall Street. It can't be the Ellie, right? You would, I would think it's not, but they, I don't. They know. would never do. That. I feel like no, right? If they legacy carded the 2008 Galactus, I would have questions. Dude, that's like legacy carding like the zombie chases <laughs> from Supernova. Yeah, like 30 people have these. Come Probably. on, man, something like that. If they legacy the SpectreCon exclusive from like 2005, though. Yeah, dude. Ooh, baby. Ian drinking the liquid death. You know it, Matt. I'm addicted. Uh, it's just sparkling water. I was drinking one of these at work, and somebody asked if I was drinking a beer. Uh, twice, it. actually. Two uh, people. I and then it. another person picked it up and said, like, hey, man, you don't need this stuff. Because he thought it was, like, an energy drink. I was like, it's sparkling water. So I hate the marketing for this. The marketing really sucks. Is, uh, it's needlessly edgy. It looks best. like a beer. Like, it's good. It's a good product. Literally I hate the their marketing. Tastiest drink on the planet. They're marketing to, like... Dudes covered in like tattoos or something that want to be healthy but look cool in front of their bikes. Human, human dirt bikes. Yeah, human dirt bikes is, is who they're marketing to. <laughs> sorry if you are a human sorry dirt if you're bike. a human dirt bike, Simeon. Simeon. <laughs> <laughs> One star was still for sale on the WizKids site. Somebody go snatch it. Go, go get it. All right. How but who, give who gets twelve? 12? Who gets 12? Also, this is courtesy of WizKids. This so, is courtesy of WizKids. Uh, shout out, WizKids. If you guys like the stuff that we do, make sure you know you're liking, subscribing, following along. But also, let WizKids know that you like what we do. Because the more stuff that WizKids gives us, the more stuff we can give to you. That's right. And That's right. to be entirely transparent on it, like, what would you estimate? 90 to 95% of what WizKids gives us, it just gets Oh, we give out, out so much stuff. Like... We keep, I, like, nothing, really. They like, sent us, like, you know, a couple copies even, of the Peacemakers. Even a lot and it's of like, yeah, breaks. we'll just give those away for the idea. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, they sent us, you know, a handful of these as well. They're yeah. sitting around. Our studio's a mess right now, guys. Yeah, but it's like, us. we're not keeping any of them. They just go. Yeah. So if you guys like what we do, seriously, it means the world to us to have you subscribe, to have you like, have you follow along. It's really the whole reason we do it. Um... <laughs> Now we're balling. Now we're balling. So yeah, the this, these Star fights, which we'll have available at our tournament as well. Um, yeah, it's all because of WizKids. Um, it's really cool. These Connellys they gave to us as well. So yeah, it was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. All that stuff. Mm. I need the Star Wars world. Me, my... WizKids, we love Dial H. There we go. That's what we love to hear. That's what we love. Just to look, hear. they are sold out. So somebody bought it. <laughs> somebody went and got it. Will you ever legacy a premium colossal figure? WizKids, we made a star of fight in Notorious, so think about that what you will. That's the exact quote. That so, is the exact quote. How are okay. we going to give these away? I can't believe someone went and listened really quickly. Y'all are the best. Bill, you guys. That was Bill. Oh, that was Bill? That you, uh, oh. We're calling out of it. Well, Bill, you've won our trust back. For now. For now. It could very well be turned into instant, knowing Bill's record, though. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, uh, how about this? Ayo, hey, shout out I'm your favorite say... divisible of 12. <laughs> I'm, just kidding, I'm just kidding, don't do that. Guys, please, please limit it to one comment. Okay. It makes it easier to comment. So I'm going to just say, please, one comment in the next two minutes. Please pause all chatters to get into this. Please let us know what figure you want to see Legacy in X-Men, or uh, Deadpool and X-Force. What figure Weapon do you want X. to see Legacy? Deadpool and Weapon X. Jeez. I'm going to set a two-minute timer. Please just comment once, and then once this two-minute timer is done, we can resume conversation. But please make it easy for us to count. Let us know what figure you want to see Legacy. That's how you can get entered to win these 12-star fights, which we will ship to you free of charge. Timer starts, and now. So yes, please yeah, do not comment. Yes, please. please do not comment unless it's an answer. Because otherwise it's going to be kind of tricky to count. We don't want you doubling up. We might disqualify you if you do. No, we won't. I agree. No. No, let's be harsh. No, I'm just kidding. No, we're not going to. But don't do it, because it makes it harder. Yeah, please. And it prolongs giving out these stars for so long. Yeah, these stars are, I think they're pretty fun. I kind of want them. It's just, isn't this just a fun package? <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, just, the little bago, little yeah, bago of star of fights, man. Little bago of star of fights. Mind control when star of fight uses it and hits. Until your next turn, the hit character can't. What is this? Can't target star of fight? They're cosmic yeah, energy? Yeah, so wherever you, uh, wherever you keep mind controlling, they can't attack. Let's see. How many points are these guys? 35? Is that right? I suppose they could pop one open, but I don't want to... Ruin the sanctity of it. One of these guys kind of bent up. You know what? I'm going to save him. He is a little bent up in there. Let's save him. Let's save him. Dennis thinks the only starfish is Squidward Savage. Squidward is also not a starfish. He's a, he's a squid. Yeah, Patrick is a starfish. Points, four clicks of life, some sidestep, 11 attack, precision strike. I mean, honestly, these will just be great at a minimum shelf decoration. Put them around your Starro, who is also... I mean, that con-exclusive Starro has such a good sculpt. And the, if they if they go with the, the original Star, which I don't know, man, that just seems. Don't do that. Don't, yeah, that's, that's, that's my that's my don't thoughts on it. Too. Just, don't do that. Just, yeah. Oh, he's so much harder to get a hold of. Oh my goodness. There was a Star fight notorious, so make of that what you will. Make of that what you will. I boys. believe it was Brian Galley who said that. Oh, uh, also shout out. I forget who this is. Uh, Riddle Valley Games. This is a game store that my brother got me this hat at while he was in Juneau, Alaska. Shout out, Riddle Valley Games. No more comments! They don't have hero clicks, though. It's very sad. All right. It stops at Brian Harrell. James Stover interrupting the comments, saying, who is that? Don't ask questions. That's what <laughs> this is about. Well, I'll allow Ryan, only because he had a goaded answer. Okay. Now we're done. Now we're now done. We're done. Ryan Dubois, last answer, Debo, however you would say it. I apologize. You're the, the last answer. The books. The books. <laughs> That's gotta be. Uh, right. Starting with Luke. Luke, uh, Reinhardt, or whatever, how that's pronounced. Yeah. Um, whatever Overwatch character. Luke, he is. something like that. Let's go. One, two, Luke three, Yoss, four, four, five, six, seven. League of Legends. Eight, nine, ten. Now the tape has just 12. betrayed me. It doesn't want to seal back up. 4.5. AOA Magneto. I love that answer. Okay. Cable. Yeah, I'll just take Yeah. Common Cable from XDPS. House of X Gambit. Yeah. Headpool. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, shout out Ryan, though, for doing Hellcow. The go to the answer. That Deadpool is Cable. Yeah, I love that duo. Uh, Doctor Doom and Kang. I don't know why you think really that'll get in there, but, uh, you know, shoot for the moon. Land Wolverine and Three. That's a good one. Uh, obviously, Web Spider Man Deadpool. That's the go to the answer as well. Please, please legacy that figure. Wolverine X23 duo legacy. We have a bunch of those. A lot of duo figure legacies. Uh, House of X Gambit. That's an interesting choice for Legacy Lee. I think it's. Cool. I like that. That is a. That's like. Somehow not the best Gambit sculpt, but very close. The best one is Uncommon for Mutations and Monsters, where he's jumping off the Sentinel arm, in my opinion. Uh, Deadpool on the Unicorn, man, that'd be a tough legacy. 25. Yeah, it's 25. Web right. Spider-Man, Deadpool. Yeah, that's, that's the one. That's my number that's one. That's literally, that's the number that's one pick. Right. So you said 25. 25. All right, Counted it twice. Rules. Counted it twice. And Luke is number one? Luke is number one. Okay. So anybody, anything but that. All right, one, two, 25. I'll spin it around for the camera. I'll, hopefully you guys can see this. Full transparency. Sorry if you're number five. That's just what it started on. You got it, one to 25. Caller, you tell me when to stop. I'll okay. make sure I'm pressing it. Make sure it's still going. It's still going. I'm not looking. Stop, Ian. 
All right, you guys can see it before I even announce it. Boom, bam. It is 12. 12, yeah. 12 on top, movie number one. 11, 12. Miles Kane with the Colossus Wolverine Fastball Aquaman. Special. Aquaman fan, too. Aquaman fan. The only <laughs> Aquaman fan I know. Miles Kane, shout out. One of the nicest, kindest, oh. most giving, generous people I've ever met in my it entire comes life. It, it comes, comes back. back, ladies and gentlemen. Give me your address, Miles. I might have it, but just in case, message yeah, down at your hero we, clicks. We have it. I think we have it somewhere. We it. Unless you've moved recently. Unless you've moved, in, in which case. Don't just send USPS your address change. Send it to us as well. Uh, I just think Miles would probably be the person in this comment section that will probably get most the excited. most news out of 12 stars. Yeah. 100%. Oh, what a fun thing to give away, though. This is really, really funny. I never and, get tired uh, of giving things away. I don't yeah. think I'll ever get tired of giving these away. Uh, I love it. The story behind these two. Yep. Um, it's awesome. Eventually, eventually, you guys will hear the story on why we have 12 of these. To give away, but for now, that will be locked away in, in the vault of secrets. Maybe Valley's vault. Nine months from now, there eight months from now at the Clixies, we'll tell the uh, the behind the scenes. If you story. actually play these Martin. at Worlds, Miles, I if mean, somebody comments on the Clixies live stream, you have to tell us the Starfight story. I promise we will. Yeah, I but agree. Miles, Nine months from now, if you remember this and you tell us, hey, tell the Starfight story, sure, we'll do it. If that Starro has anything to do with Starro fights, Miles, you have an absurd advantage on the competition. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I love it. So congratulations, Miles. We'll mark this off for you. We'll get you yeah. sent out. I'll probably box up tomorrow or maybe like Sunday. Well, got a tournament tomorrow. It's kind of yeah. tough to, yeah. But Hopefully by Monday. The very Tuesday. least, Monday, Tuesday, and I'll be out to you. And we'll get those sent out to you. But congratulations, sir. All right, so up next, guys, we're still in 40 people in here. That is insane. That really is insane. Thank you, guys. <laughs> it's yeah. really cool. Appreciate it. Bank on that. So stoked. I'm, yeah. I'm glad you won it. I'm really happy That's you won really cool. it. Anybody? That's awesome. Oh. So now, Starro has his eye on you, Miles. Ooh. Ooh. Better hope there's no goth girls with a javelin nearby. Mm. So now we can talk a little bit about, you know, so Calder and I are both very much players of the fringe. We like innovating weird stuff. What the hell is She's that? Gonna get oh, Starro. that's a Harley. That's Harley Quinn. Okay. <laughs> For a second, I thought that was maybe like an Evil Dead action oh, figure or no. something. <clears throat> I'm going to put her away. She freaks me out. So. Yeah, that is a kind of freaky action figure. But we want to talk about figures that we like playing. Oh, Speaking yeah. of fringe. Yes. Not King Shark, but Camo. Camo is the always on the list. Yeah. As of right now, we love us some Dial H. Thank you, James. Appreciate the value. Right now, I think uh, the pieces that are really interesting me, I think let's talk about next phase. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, uh, everyone has talked about this infinitely. You don't even need to know. Boom. Uh, yeah, the I, gods are good. I wanted this piece no matter what. Sadly, he is just nowhere near good enough to physically put on the board like there's just no chance Bummer. but this was just uh like i mean the design of Kanchu in the show is just i think beautiful so this was a figure that when i saw it, he's like oh this is the most meta piece in the set i was like okay i have to track it down instantly so building with Kanchu, i'll be doing that because uh duh yeah but for things that i really like we talked about it on the podcast a bit my favorite figure in in next phase hands down is the super rare man thing I yeah. don't. I don't know Actually, if he's quite good enough. Let me go get Man Thing. When this guy's fifty points and Man Thing is fifty five, it's a bit tricky to uh, justify it. UPS. <laughs> UPS. Is that you? So Man Thing, I think. I know Miles Kane is a big fan. I heard him talking on his show, uh, Degeneration Clicks podcast, guys, with him, Ryan. What's the Degeneration Clicks a reference to, Ian? Can you tell me? Generation X. Right. No. No, isn't it? Is it a wrestling thing? It's a wrestling thing. Generation X isn't wrestling. Degeneration oh. X is wrestling. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, you said Degeneration Okay, yeah. never mind. So you got it. You got it. <coughs> As I say, if it's not that, I have no clue. Man thing. Incredible sculpt. It really is. I love it, dude. The, by and large, the World by Night stuff's the coolest stuff from the next phase set. Obviously, Steve has my heart, but I love World by Night so much as just the theme in the set. Uh, people kind of dog on the Prime. I love the Prime a lot. I love just being placed up there. I love his abilities and stuff. And he's really fun. He's overcosted, obviously, but I really like the Prime. And I think yeah. I'm going to get a lot of mileage out of him in like home games and local stuff. I really like him. But no, this man thing, 
in in the super seal, it's hard to judge because the most random dumb stuff. Oh, he just beats the. He just kills, him. dude. He murders you in a super seal. But like being able to move, man, in those just markers, kills, dude, is what makes me go. He's possible. The markers to then to charge or giant reach in a marker. It's so good. He's just a stat a map being too. so small. Yeah, dude. It's a twenty. He's nuts. a twenty-one defense up close with stealth. And if you see through it, I mean, like, he's still a nice He's scene. constantly going in those markers. So he's constantly <coughs> yeah. stealth. It's just like, dude, he's nuts. He's giant size, so three through six yep. willpower. There's easy enough ways Reach to over, him. punch you. Prime Elsa can away. give him, you know, trick arrows or whatever for free. And now he's going to, like, exploit quaking. Trick arrows? Yeah, I guess so. There, there are, there are ways attack. to make him work. He's someone I'm building with, but I don't have an exact build yet. I really like playing him with... Uh, MOE to do another thing where you would start them equipped, swap, drop for man thing. I think Not that sure. rocks. He's scientist too, so you can like start kid Thanos, move up, you know, drop, whatever, or switch into him, whatever you want to do. Um, but Jennifer Kale is the big push on why I think he's yeah. Without Jennifer Kale, I don't think he's there. Uh, are peeps sleeping on Titania? That is a conversation for somebody else. Uh, <laughs> Some people really went in on Titania. I really like what she does. You could play her, but I'm Before not For this set, I thought Celebrity was pretty weak. There's two celebrities, really. It's Scott Porter and <coughs> Scott Porter. Besides that, there weren't a lot of celebrities being played at all. Like, no. not much. Not to any prevalence. Scott, Kong, Wong. But now that, yeah, now that Kong is out, now that Wong is out. But even then, it's only non-standard powers, right? So what does Kong lose? He loses his willpower, Quake. loses Quake. That's his attack and his willpower. Super strength. And, yeah, I think he does lose his stop click, right? Does that let you one-shot Kong? No. No, he Standard powers. Yeah, not he loses so the impervious. He still gets the stop. He loses the impervious. But, like, I don't know. But she's 75 points. That's the yeah. tough thing. If she Miles, had, I think, is also a big fan I think if she had a 50-point well. line, I, I could really see the consideration. Yeah. But also, there's just enough small little mini attackers mm -hmm. that maybe don't feel bad investing 75 points. To stop what you get to stop. It's it's tough. It's, it's a figure weird. that I will never. I, I own her, but I will never play her. Like straight up, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. Dang. I think she could work, but I'm That's just so not that sad. kind of player. I mean, would it be funny to see a team with like Titania and Elsa, no healing, um, yeah. look at your powers, like building like a pure silver bullet team? That could maybe be fun. <clears throat> uh, Ian, I also love Man Thing. Awesome. He's so efficient. Yes, he is. Make him unoutwittable with Legacy Ace and make it a theme by bringing Ace in with Butterfly. Ooh. I wow. So, yeah, the new Butterfly figure that gets to basically... It does the same thing that the Joker and the Penguin they do from the new That's Batman. That's pretty OP slick, game. man. Yeah. I like that. I like that. That's... Okay, I'll put that on my notes. <laughs> I actually really like that. An all-man thing team, two man thing, and one prime and Jennifer Kale. <laughs> You need like you need like Moonstone on that team so she can carry the Giants too. Oh, there you go. Drop off your boys. Uh, let's see. Oh gosh, sorry. Man Thing is the best Cathon candidate. Ah, Ooh, Ghost Rider, King of Hell. Nah, I don't know about that. I uh, yeah, I see that too. Wow. Jeez. Wow. Okay, Jeff. Just horrible stuff. Okay, we'll skip to your comment, Jeff. Who has more Riz, Calder or Ian? We both have more Riz than you, but yeah, you are a better singer. Easily. If you guys singer. thought the Peacemaker song was funny or you enjoyed it, please check out at Guitar Comic on Instagram. That's my brother. He recently got banned from Instagram. That's how you know you're a good comedian, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. For uh, it's kind for, of true though. For nudity. Nudity. <laughs> like, really? Exactly. Yeah. Like that was the reason. He that was the reason. Oh. So Instagram did something wonky. So he's rebuilding his account. So if you give him a follow or just check out his videos, he'd really appreciate that. Huh. But uh, he's he's like kind of funny. He's all right. He's a goober. Yeah, I think it's yeah. about right. Yeah, I think it's about right. He, he's, he's he might he might end up living with us. Oh jeez. <laughs> like legitimately. Oh jeez. I don't you know. Just say that. Why not? Call him out. He's not going to live with us, guys. That was a joke. Yeah, that was a joke. <laughs> uh, man thing is the best Cathon candidate. No way. I don't. I just don't believe that. I'll disagree with you there, sir. I think the King of Hell Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider. is too legit. King Especially of Hell Ghost Rider or Daredevil? For best Cathon candidate. Uh, Super Ghost Rider. Still. Super Ghost Rider still. Okay, Making well. him with wow. hit, that plus Bucky's arm wow. plus a pilot that gives you steel energy. Like You can wow. equip three things to him, technically. Wow. wow, wow. Dumb. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, uh, wow. One knows, wow, 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 hitting somebody 14 for 6. And then just cruising away. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Daredevil yeah. can also do that, but aside the point. <clears throat> um, 
Can we get a show prepping for Huntington's with ideas on hotels, places to eat, and such? Ah, uh, we won't need uh, people to do that. Probably this year. not. Yeah, sorry. We're not going to be there. I'll be yeah. too worried about cosplaying that weekend, which I'm very excited to do. That so. is the busiest week yeah. of work uh, I hate to, in my uh, life. So hate to let you guys down like that. Um, also, we don't know the area that well. That's a good idea for Worlds, though. We do have some favorite spots in Worlds that we like to go to. So. Potentially, that could be a world's video where we kind of talk about where to stay. The answer where to stay is just Graceland, though. I yeah, I mean, if you guys stay at Graceland, open shut door. That's if you guys where stay you at Graceland and stay. you watch Dial H. You're going to be walking away with at least a legacy card. So for much there. stuff just for doing just rocking. Last year we handed out probably 200 legacy cards. Yeah, at the hotel. Oh my so for staying there, so much stuff. The opportunity to get legacy cards, it will happen again. I bet we we hundred percent. There's probably more stuff that Dial H oh. will be giving away at that hotel. So if you stay more. there. Not only do you get a TCB package, even more. We're going to be giving away con exclusives. We're going to be giving away uh, legacy cards. We'll probably give away some stuff out of our own pocket as well because it was just so fun last At year. At least some wins. Yeah. Whatever's in the pocket. Yeah. <laughs> we'll turn collar upside down. Here's a shaky. <laughs> oh, a quarter. Oh, a nickel. There you go. All right. But yeah, no, we might do that. Maybe something like that for Worlds. A lot of cool Worlds prep. Potentially, yeah, I won't say potentially Gen Con, but maybe. Just because I do know a few spots around Gen Con that I do like going to. I really like Indianapolis a lot as a city. Uh, the downtown's it's really cool. It's a great downtown area. Indianapolis has an awesome the downtown. Oh, awesome. Jesse James! <laughs> Ian, I'll message you about how many, uh, about how many I think is competitive. I heard you talk oh. about the podcast a little bit with Poison Ivy, Miles, and I do think he's, like, there. But even though he's, like, competitive, I still put him very much in the category of fringe. But, yeah. I don't. Our, we're friends on Facebook, right? I'm sure you have to. If be not, and you have to be. Dude. It's insane if we're not. I don't know. Uh, let's see. What is Super Seal? Uh, that was two boosters of Next Phase yeah. and one booster of Disney Plus. Three rounds. Richard. And then Richard, yeah. we got two videos up on the channel right now. One with Tristan and myself. Tristan is 2023 Super Fan of the Year. And then another video with Simeon, where we both do Super Sealed. We do get it wrong in those videos. We built 300-point teams instead of 400 points. <laughs> but uh, go ahead and look at those videos. That's the Super Sealed ones. It was two next phase and then one uh, first wave Disney Plus booster. So, yeah, go ahead and check those out. That's what Super Seal is all about. Miles fun. also pointed out that Titania just gives plus one attack like Porter. That is true. Brandon says Titania is too over for the effect, in my opinion. If she was 50, then maybe. I think that's fair. I really Fair's think name. that's fair. The scavenger hunt was so fun. Yes, it was, Emily. Yeah. Thank you. That was, uh, I'm glad you enjoyed that, Emily. That was, like, was awesome. the highlight of the trip, honestly. I, seriously, when we were cooking up, you were like, we have to do a mega scavenger hunt. And we were thinking all these crazy plans. It was so fun. And I was like, yeah. I can't wait for this. What happened was, uh, here's a here's a behind-the-scene tidbit back when uh, Emily still was with WizKids. Miss her. She was great. Miss her so much. She was great. She's not um, dead. She's just... She's not dead. dead she, job, yeah, she, all. she works with a different company yeah, now. Yeah, so she was like one of our primary contacts, so yeah. we were talking with her throughout the day, and she's like, "Yeah, we'll have we'll have some legacy cards for you to give away." I was like, "Oh, cool!" Because earlier in the day, she gave us what, like ten? Yeah, like 10, and we yeah. gave away them for fun videos, you know, like the uh, sculpt, mimic the sculpt. Yeah, Ryan like, and Christine did Wolverine yeah. and X twenty three. Yeah, that was cool. You and Miles did Daredevil. <laughs> she is right. That was so Daredevil, uh, Devil Dinosaur, Moon Boy. Like, Miles uh, and I are on the side of the camera. Yeah, we're gonna, we're, oh gonna, get, we're gonna get colder. So then what happened is, uh, Emily's like, yeah, we can get you some more legacies. We're like, okay, cool. She walks over with literally, like, like overflowing. We're just like, what are we going to do? The legacy with spread pick went insane. And uh, uh, that was yeah. fun. That, was that ended fun. up, so then what happens is, like, well, we got to do something really elaborate. And it's like, we're going to hand these out at the hotel. And so they walk away. They come back later, and they come in mid-conversation, and we're going, so then if we give them a code phrase... And they have to use that at the pool. And they're just like, okay, what are you guys doing? <laughs> it's like, we're maximizing. We're cooking something up. And then uh, people thought, Simeon and I, this one lady actually, not people, one person thought that Simeon and I were celebrities because people kept asking to get pictures with us. Because that was the, yeah, that was the problem. That was the challenge. <laughs> oh, man, that was funny. She's like, should I know who you guys are? We're like, no. <laughs> Definitely You should have gassed later, dude. You should be so like. We, we play with. Uh, have you seen Avatar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one with the blue people? Have you not? The highest grossing movie of all time? Yeah. No? I was, really uh, I was the gun in that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Simeon's like, I was uh, Jake Sully's wheelchair in that movie. I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was, uh, I was uh, a footlocker employee in a yeah. commercial. <laughs> 
I could see you rocking the, the referee stripes, you know, little, I did at one point. I almost wore it for oh, really? a video that we were going to do, and then... That's right! And then oh you didn't gosh. have the shirt, so we didn't yep. really use it. That's right. Miles, I did run Man Thing with a Poison Ivy Valentine's Day kit as well. With Bucky's arm on Ivy to do 11 for 4 and poison anyone from across the map was so fun. I want to do it with multiples of both. I need to look closer at what that figure does. Honestly, yeah. I saw that Valentine's Day kit. I was like, that's cool. Not for me. I have enough Harley Quinns. I did enjoy the scavenger hunt during the Worlds. We should do a PB&J social on Saturday night where we get somewhere with swanky clothes and eat PB&J sandwiches with a BYOB approach. Bring your own butter. Bring your own <laughs> peanut butter. That butter is. your own bread. <laughs> butter your own bread. Ooh. I like that. Sup, guys. I love the interview with WizKids. Got me really hyped that we could potentially get MCU Iconic someday. And great job on that Peacemaker dance law. Hey, thank you, Lucas. Oh, thanks. Uh, he's the one who actually won. He won the scavenger hunt. Yeah, yeah. He went hard. He went really mad, hard. Mad respect. Dude, he went hard. That was sick. And then he gave it all away. So it that was, was just cool. like. That was super cool. I don't know. Karma has a way. You know, Miles winning this. Miles winning that. Lucas winning that. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, that Peacemaker dance, I think, will go down in what? Infamy? Will it make us infamous? I think that's Heroclix history right there, ladies and gentlemen. If you in don't, way, if you haven't rewatched the I intro mean, to the Peacemaker Iconics like 10 times, <laughs> I listen to it a lot. I listen to it a lot. Dude, I'll pull up that video every once in a while. Every now, yeah, yeah even to today, it. I'm like, I was like, I love that. I love that we did that. That's hilarious. A few That's people, awesome. one of them's in the chat, a few people messaged me directly and said, hey, can you just send me the song? And so I was sending people like the, the Google Drive. Mm, very okay, nice. There you go. Oh, that was really cool. I would love to get the Dial H Spotify with uh, the full On Your Left <laughs> theme song and then the full Peacemaker theme song. And then soon to be more classic hits. Soon to be some more classic hits. <clears throat> a lot of, a lot of music. Some ones that have been written for music. a while. Mm-hmm. Both fans of Alan Jackson. Which is, hey, sometimes you're just a country like boy. Actually, and yeah. yeah, like actually, yeah. I love Alan Jackson. It's excited to die, they yeah. say. Bring your own beverage, lol. PB&J makes you thirsty. No, no. Hey, no. Butter, butter, no, butter, no. Butter, butter on bread. bread. Come on, Will. Butter on bread. Mm-hmm. Will doesn't know. It's a shame. He's the one who suggested it. I know. How does he not even know? Oh, uh, other things that we're building with, because we just said man thing, and that was like it. Uh, I want to make King Arthur work. I think King Arthur. I love. Cool. I love King Arthur a lot. I, I won't lie. When I looked at him, when I look at almost any piece, I don't have a competitive mindset at all. Just being honest. But I know shocker. But I was like, King Arthur looks really fun to play. I just want to play the heck. Like King Arthur, I'm just like, I want to build ten teams with him. None of them are competitive. But really, when you kind of broke down how easy it is to it's get his stats, insane. It's close. He is eighty points, which is a lot of points for a main attacker nowadays. It is. It really is, but he's also a leadership. I would love to give King Arthur a try. He's got a deep dial. He's got a stop click. He's got a little he's mystical. three pulse wave. He's, he's cosmic mystical. energy. He, has he gets to start with any sword for free. Like so, what I like there's a lot is give. So he's got a lot of invincible on his dial, and he cannot he does. run, which is nice. So you give him soul sword so he can heal, maybe, or you give him the broadsword construct for the bonus plus one defense. In addition, you can give him Cthon because he's mystical. Yeah. And then he gets plus one stats if he has a sword equipment. Yep. So you can just give him plus two stats. If he has the board, broadsword construct, he can just have plus three defense. So you can be plus two, plus two, plus three, plus two. So that shakes out to like 10, 14, 21, 5, which is hilarious. Like that rocks. Hypersonic speed top dial, right? Hypersonic you play that strike, yeah, with Jennifer like Kale. Are you hitting this guy? Maybe not. Maybe not. So is he the most meta thing ever? No, but you could modify him. Like, Cathon plus sword object equals 80 points of lots yeah. of stats. He also has a stop click, which I dig. So the soul like, sword is a little and more And it's not on the defense. A little anti-Captain yeah. America stop click action going on there. Can you burn through him? Probably. Oh, yeah. But it's a lot of invincible. No rollouts um, unless you give him a warlock. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he can't. X Men because he doesn't have warrior keyword. For we just have wild. wild. Why he's a like? Are knights not <clears throat> warriors? I get the soldier aspect. Knights are maybe more militaristic than warriors, but they're warriors, right? Mm. Like, okay, here's an interesting note: King Arthur times three and both Scots. <laughs> That's not actually an interesting note. Just got here, but Titania with Prime Kingpin gives all the Lobies plus two, plus one, and protects them from slavery. So plus two attack, plus one damage. Yeah. What's Kingpin? What is he gets his lowest plus one attack? What's his lowest point value? Fifty-five. Fifty-five for Kingpin Titania. Fifty-five plus seventy-five. So what? That's one twenty. Or no, one thirty. One thirty. 
Yeah, I, I you can't sell me I can't, titanium. That's, I just I don't know about both of them. I'll be honest. I don't want to play titanium. I'm sorry. Savage. I, does titanium a bad piece? No, Savage. I'm not going to say that. Savage. I don't want to play. Do you want to play her? No. Well, there you go. No. Sorry, guys. I know there's titanium love in the chat, but it's not going to be reciprocated here. Just kidding. It's a really. It's like it's a good video. Yeah, it's a solid. It's not figure. my cup of tea. She like messed me up once again. You could be the juiciest orange color. I might still just like apples. Wow. You know Profound. what I mean? Profound. Mm -hmm. Profound. And uh, in this case, uh, Titania is an orange, and I like apples. And uh, <laughs> Madison's the juiciest. Uh, I'm not gonna say. You that. could never mind. I'm not gonna say. <laughs> yeah. The juiciest peach. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. That's what I was gonna say. You read my mind. Yeah. You know, like. For example, Calder, something could be the, the, the juiciest steak in the world, right? And then they could be your brother who hates what? steak. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that is true. I mean, we would be salivating. We'd be like, oh, man, you're like, gross. Where's my hot dog? Where's where my mac and cheese? Where's my, where's my chicken, chicken nugget pizza? Nuggets? Chicken nugget <laughs> pizza? Chicken nugget pizza. <laughs> oh, what else uh, is building up? Uh, Elsa Prime, I know that's like a, a big talking point. I really think... I just really like her for the fact that beginning of the game, start with Trick Arrows for free, hand that off to whoever you want. Like, in tandem with Man-Thing, I think that rocks. But then you think about people like Kong, where it's like, okay, now Kong is just starting the game with Trick Arrows. That's true. Or a motorcycle, or a hell cycle. <laughs> quake or... into Quake. <laughs> into a third Quake. Kong quakes you three times with Trick Arrows? Well, if no. you, if you yeah. charge Quake as free, you can't Quake as free again. Oh, I don't Same like reaction twice. But if you power Quake... Free quake, yeah, that's a good power. And then yeah, you can do two quake, dangerous quake. to make a deal three. Yep. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah. But the, anything that attacks multiple you times, get, you still get four attacks off with Kong though. Uh, so charge quake. There's one. There's one. His normal charge quake. Second action. Activate trick arrow. Activate trick arrow. Yeah. It has to be a quake for free, right? No, because charge quake is, oh, is free. free. Okay, it's not close. Uh, well, you oh, it's close as free. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. close as free. So, so you can attack. charge Quake. Charge Quake. There you go. From that... And you can charge attack again, by the way. Mm -hmm. So just normal con, two charges. And then you can activate a trick arrow. Yeah, could be the Quake. Okay, it can be the Quake. So if you, if you just charge, charge, you can charge, activate a trick arrow, charge, activate a trick arrow, Quake is free, activate a trick arrow. There we go. Well, that's... Yeah, you can do that. Trick arrows are kind of dumb, you guys. Just have quake. Yeah, They're there cool, you go. Though. Okay. What does Titania do when Ghost Rider comes and hits her for six pen damage and KOs her in one hit? I think, you answered, I think you answered your question. She dies. She dies. I, I would like the Titania stands to respond. Jeremy, you have the floor. I is, my... is, that, is that the new I, Cyclops calling Penny <laughs> for six? No. Because I hate that. Hated that era. No, but Titania really does just die. No, right? she does just die. She does. I showed my son the Colossals coming with Masters of Time, and now I'm afraid I may have to invest heavily in that set. Get them! Yeah. They rock! What are you talking about? Yeah. You should be joyously excited! Those things look awesome! Mm. I've never wanted to own a complete Shop. version. Shop.wizkids.com. Shop.wizkids.com. You get two Colossal Boosters for only one brick. And yeah. you'll get these guys. And the Colossal Boosters also come with figures in the Colossal Boosters. come with boosters. two more figures and a team-up card that can be used with some figures in the set. So who knows? I'm not even trying to be a salesman no. guy here. I genuinely, I've already bought that deal. I'm gonna I'll probably buy another one. Inst I love that deal. Instantly, it's like, okay, okay. What is the distribution of those then? If you get a super booster Watch figure, me. I mean, it could be a way where it's like it's skewed heavily towards like you know you probably get at least a rare, right? I would hope. And then maybe a super rare, like maybe it's treated like the retail chase boosters, where there's like. <sighs> That'd be so sick. Two good figures that yeah. chase. Because if it's two other figures, that makes me think, like, they're not just going to put two common. I hope right? not, yeah. That'd be a slap in the face. That would suck. But, but still, if any of the team-ups are good, too, if those are the only way to get team-ups, if any of them are good, a little, little stonks. A little Psylocke. A Gene stonks. Gene Gray, a little Psylocke, Gene Gray level team-up in one of those bad boys. And there's, oh, to the moon. <laughs> to the moon. Can't a little say? Magneto Apocalypse Professor X team-up in there. Oh man, the, that team of cards saved my awful brick of House of X. That's funny. I traded that but no, like, singular team of card for a Master Mold. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. It's like saying, like, yeah, can I have this, uh, this for this? They're, e they're equal ring. value. I traded a spin ring for a Galactus. That was wild. I was like, I asked the guy, I was like, you don't want anything else? He goes, we're cool, we're good. You shipped you Galactus? Shipped me Galactus. I was. 
that's why I was like, dude, I was like, I can like toss it. I was like, do you need any super rares from like the most recent set? How do you get the wildest deals, Ian? I, I really... That one was also from HC Realms. I don't... Somebody reached out to me about that. I, I had Spin Ring on my Habs list and someone said... Raven like, Project on HC Realms. Send me tracking for my Steve Chase. Sorry. You just reminded me. Mm. Just reminded me. Raven Project's always on there. He's always on there. He's good. He's he hasn't sent me my tracking yet. I don't care. I'll call he you. He wants out. to learn to play and maybe attend some tourneys with me. He's 12, so I think he may be ready. Oh, I, yeah. 12 oh, yeah. is definitely ready. I mean, this was... 20 years ago at this point, but I was five when I started. Yeah, 12 was 100%. The game was very career. different, but uh, I mean, here's the thing is, you know, you don't have to play by the books, right? You can always learn to play kind of in your own way. Well, it's world and then age. you can go and play uh, like the real hero class, yeah. right? But, you know, just learn at your own pace. You can pace simplify it. It's pretty, yeah. it's a simple game. Moving stuff around, counting squares, 11 to 17, Lasting. roll some dice, yeah. Don't use all the special powers. Don't use even all the standard powers, you know? Like, there's really interesting ways to simplify hero books. I simplify it all the time. I usually start with just speed powers for new people. Because yeah. then that way the game moves and doesn't feel slow and clunky. Um, but, yeah, I 100% I think it's 12 year old. But I think, like, an 8-year-old. I, I, after that, I kind of forget. Didn't Isaac win Worlds at 12? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's, won, that's world championship national. age. Still, that's champion age. 12 champion years old is champion age, man. That's a, uh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, oh, I was stomping out the regulars at 12 at my venue. Right there. I was playing the Vet Legacy Batman. I, uh, rocking, yeah. I guess I, I didn't really Batman. start until 2012, so I didn't start until I was, like, 13. But still, like... Yeah, no, I mean... I had the capacity to learn beforehand if I would have known what they were. So yeah, 100%. Back in the day, especially... 100%. What's great is if you can build up a good collection, and then, you know, maybe your son has some friends as well... If you can get a good play group going that way, those are some of my favorite memories. Just go into those are the, best, the basement of various those rock. our parents' houses and just literally playing hero play. Various our parents' houses. Like waking up at like 10 a.m. having like three, four texts being like, we're going dude, to we're playing hero are you? And then it's like, oh, yes, come in. Drive over there and just play till like two in the morning. Rocks. On that call map, dude. Oh my God, it was so ripped up yeah. by the time we were done with it. There's a big oh. four player map. Yeah, I have it still. Not the ripped up one. I bought oh. a different copy of it. Just as a, a memory. Winning Nats at 12s is still very impressive. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, are you kidding me? That, what? I have to talk about this. Oh, yes. Yeah. Nah, yeah, this is sick. This is why. Is that the indie rule set? I don't know what. Uh, it is the indie rule set. They really set. hodgepodge that Dude. stuff together. So, again, another Dragon Slayer buy. I didn't just get. Is that the light pole in there? High Stakes Drifter card game by WizKids from 2005. I got Heroclix Odds and Ends. $10. Now, what was in this Heroclix Odds and Ends? Vintage. 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 Um, we're gonna save this one a little while later. That's She's the just, funniest. Yeah, part. it's so funny. The fact that that was like actually right. So the first thing that caught my eye was all these original objects. So the light pole, seeing better days, but there's the light pole. The soda machine is my personal favorite. You used to get cola plus three cola. damage. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Uh, this used to in cap. This people. is like what old school computer. This is I believe recorder. that one gave it's additional old, damage as well. Thing. The crate you could throw like eight squares instead of six. Throw in a crate, eight squares. The bookshelf with that was the skull. plus one defense at range. Okay, okay. And yeah, the skull was. Dude, sick. it's cool. The that dumpster. I love the dumpster. This one freaking rocks. That rock. icon Superman. This is sick. Well, now I don't like it anymore. Yep. And that's all he did. Now and I Black hate Adam. It. Now I hate it. Okay, Black Adam's cool. That was also plus the desk, one defense. Plus one defense. Hide under the desk. So. And then the mailbox, which is later used in the Plastic Man mailbox sculpt. I need to pick that up. Still. Pretty cool. So, I really like those objects. It also came with two Hero Clicks little uh, turn dial. The dumpster rings. with giant size X Men Magneto, dude, that was so legit. I'm glad someone else did that. Dude, uh, the weirdest dice, just mm -hmm. pip placement. The twos are way too close together. All the pips are just those are crazy some, those close. Are some 20 year old dice, dude. These make me uncomfortable. I don't know. I don't like the way the pips are so close You're together. You're rolling history right there. Colin. This is history? All right. Mm hmm. Just kidding. I would never disrespect them like that. But they're really cool. That is uh, kind of wild. Looking at these and actually remembering, like, yeah, I remember these you. coming in. Oh yeah, hey, oh, there you go. Heck? This is in like the, this is in not English. The rules for it. Is this not English? Jeez, how many different countries have we played this game? There we go. Crate is plus two squares range and thrown. Mid box add one to the attacker's damage rating. What are the words? <laughs> damage rating. Bookcase add one to the attacker's attack rating. 
Dumpster, mm -hmm. objects is never destroyed. The player that uses it places it in any square. You're right. Add once the attacker's attack rating with the computer. Soda machine is plus one damage. Light post, object does normal damage for a heavy object and incapacitates the target mm -hmm. as the attacker has the incapacitate superpower. Are they, they're called superpowers? That's sense. pretty close. You're really close on a lot of these. The wording is just so funny on these back in 2002. We have the indie... What is this? Just the how to play indie yeah. guide. Little uh, little Judge Dredd Hellboy action going on there. That's really cool. The quick start guide for indie hero clicks as well. The what in the world is this? The flow charts, man. The yeah. flow charts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's plot points in here. The cavalry. What does this mean? This oh my all, gosh. Yeah. I'm not gonna get into this. This ancient, ancient insane. history. Uh, these interesting little flow charts. Rampage! Your longtime foes are parading around the city, insulting your reputation and calling you cowards. You must maintain your honor and vow to take them down a peg. Oh, I see. This is a uh, scenario you play. Interesting. Wish they'd bring back a full indie set. Uh, I just want Hellboy. Give me, give me Hellboy again. And then, yeah. A couple of maps. Sapien and Lobster Johnson. And then an old school PAC. With, uh, this is the indie PAC. Let's see. Oh wow, leadership used to be uh, as being return as a pre-action you roll one six out of die. Oh, so it's a four through six. They just won't leave 50, us alone. 50. Hey, if you're in the live stream, person who just made this no. group chat, we don't have anything for you. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. You can message us as much as you want. I've communicated with one of you. That... Here's what I'll say. Either own the piece you want to play. It's no, There's nothing wrong with borrowing a piece. It's nine o'clock the night but, before. But it's nine o'clock the night before. Change your team. <laughs> Use some more creative team building. You don't have to use the same five pieces in pulp. Be a little bit more creative or play with figures you actually own. <laughs> it's nine o'clock. You've known about this tournament. Pulp tournament for months. And we have to organize the tournament. We don't really have time right now. Sorry. I'm, this is no, we're not actually that over. mad. I'm not really that mad. But, but like, it's funny on, because bro. it's who they are. That's yeah. why it's funny. I'm going to get mean tomorrow. Yep. You are going to get mean tomorrow. I am going to get mean tomorrow. So then there's this little baggie. Full of feats and some bystanders. So we have Siphon Power. Did that lose us viewers? We have Siphon Power. <laughs> we have Overconfidence. Character Perplex may only use it on its own values. This is like a negative. Oh, it's a battlefield condition. Okay. We have Deep Shadows. And then we have White Noise. White, White Noise, I swear, was in like every booster every ever. Oh. Not ever. It was or never battle played. Battle Perplex. Like. Control rolls six out of die. Four through six. This target ignores it. Use Battle Perplex. Oh, yeah. I can mess you up. And then Ian goes, oh, you have bystanders in there? Yeah, I was like, I was like, hey, is a Leanne Harper in there? Like the one point bystander, the legend. And the only one we could see was old Maggie Sawyer here. But instantly, <laughs> the bystander after her is Leanne Harper, the one point hero books bystander. That's worth ten dollars right there. This thing is it really? Probably. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. So ten bucks paid for itself. We also have some old school light objects, some blocking, some hindering terrain, some debris. But overall, what an awesome buy. A little bit of Hero Clicks history. I never got to own these. I've always seen them. Somebody played the crate against me last night, and I was like, is that real Hero Clicks? What in the world? I never noticed that one before. So I love owning Hero Clicks history. It's just so fun. Spread out somewhere, somewhere in my massive collection at my parents' house. Um, I don't know if I had all of them, but I remember uh, they were on sale at Rainbow at one point. My dad picked me up a set of them. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I didn't know these existed. <laughs> yeah. So, these rocks. Yeah, guys. Dragon's Lair had some goodies. Tomorrow. Uh, what can they expect to see in, on yeah. our channel? Dang, this is kind of messed up, huh? These little bands, yeah. Um, so, tomorrow, the tournament officially kicks off. Dice are rolling at 10.45. We will start setting up around 10. Whenever they let us in the building, really. As soon uh, as they let us get in there. That's what it's we'll all about. We'll try to get things going as quick as we can. Um... May just be a little delay, but we'll be, you know, highlighting some games. We'll be hanging out, chatting. We'll probably be giving some stuff away on stream, so go ahead and tune in. We do have some extra stuff for you guys at home because we, come on, we never forget about you guys. No, we never do. We won't punish you for not living in Omaha, although it is objectively wrong. Uh, that's concerning. That is concerning. Okay. Anyways, guys, we'll be covering the big tournament tomorrow. It'll yep. be fun. Congratulations again, Miles, for winning. Yo, Star, Star of Fight Man, get that Star of Fight pack, Miles. It's coming your way. Get excited. Get ready. But I it's think gonna be awesome. That's gonna pretty much conclude tonight, guys. Thanks for yeah. hanging out. It's cool. Ooh. We had a lot of cool stuff. 
recently, and we'll have even more cool stuff tomorrow. Hopefully. We'll see. <laughs> have a good night, guys. Yin. Every time I wake up, I'm a man without love.